Okay, so we're getting really close to starting. So this is going to be fun. Um, today, I wasn't recording yet, but uh, Richard Saunders and our little meet up and greet up thing, he, <laughs> he rolled three, three, three times the six sided dice and it was five, five, five. He says he wasn't fooling around. It just happened. And nobody <laughs> believes them because we're a bunch of skeptics. So we've got a couple new people here tonight. I just finished a talk for CFI. And so um, we've got a couple new people. One is joining because he was he was listening to the talk and he says, I want to play trivia. That sounds fun. So here comes the group. I'm going to close the rooms. Welcome back, Cotters. Here we go. So you're so skeptical, Susan. You watch yes, you yes, I am. I am very skeptical. Okay. We can't see it. Me? Well, well, how do Three. I know it's the same die you were using earlier that was a five? Because, because I want to, you know what? Be... I should, I think I'd feel better if I saw you initial it. <laughs> Paula, before you got here, it rolled five, three times. Wow. So I so nobody <laughs> believes them. We're like, you must have did a sleight of hand or something, you know. Nobody it's, believes me. It's terrible. Nobody believes them. Yeah, we should have had them initial the die first. Everyone. Or put a special X on it or something. Sorry, Richard. We All love you to pieces and we trust Look, you it's, normally. It's, but for it's, 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 in this it's case, the patent, it's the pattern well, seeking. Wonder. Everyone thinks that 555 is far more unlikely than 163. Well, yeah, it's, I, it's, I know. They're equally leak likely. Well, that was my point. Why I picked one number and stuck with it all this time is that eventually it's going to happen. We must be talking dice again. <laughs> you missed it. You missed this it, assumes a perfect, oh, perfect die, though, right? It could be slightly weighted incorrectly on the five, in which case that likely would be more likely. It was every every week I asked for five, five, five every oh, week, oh. and I hardly ever get even one five. This week, he showed it to us all. He showed it happening, and it was five, five, five. Which, which is the bigger thrill, the really? award or the or the die? <laughs> <laughs> the award because i still think he did something funny yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> think it was i got lots of dice die? back here but i got lots of dice but none of them are funny they're all just from you know the the the, the, the store or the dragon the alien one, one is Dragon's pretty funny the one the alien got you is funny guy swallowing that would, that would get a chuckle out of me <laughs> Hey, you know, Richard, do you know do you know how many dice you have total? No, lots. Oh, you're you probably have probably have hundreds. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> I have I don't have enough dice. Yeah, that one is um I like that one. Whatever number that's, Susan picked. That's funny. <laughs> Hi Deborah, by the way. Oh, we saw that one. Hello. Hello. I still have your gravy whip. What what is that? What is I that? I know that. Five. Oh, hey, hey, B. B for Roman numeral. Oh, five. it looks like a Y. Yeah. Susan's number. I think it's the, the wood. The wood makes it look like he, it's. He's got your number, Susan. <laughs> he's, he's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> the, they glow in the dark. They're from. Um, oh, those are nice. New Mexico. Oh. They're from Albuquerque. Wait, mm. Avi, Avi did course. you say? Did you say you're you've read Project Hail Mary or not? Not yet. No, I I'm planning on doing that that um relatively soon, but I want to listen to the audiobook, but that means that I have to subscribe to Audible. Oh. And let's. Going to no, Germany. No, 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 actually, no. actually, <laughs> that guy. It's you can get, how fast you can you can get a free 30, 30 day trial and get one. Yeah. Book. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what I just did. That's Being what I did. An Amazon Prime member, you get. Yeah. like a 30-day trial or something well so the reason i asked you avi is the very first couple of sentences are to describe to say a number and i think it was two and he he gives this long complicated formula which i did not follow and i'm wondering if you'll catch it all he says. oh yeah <laughs> all right so we're ready first couple of sentences i can go look up the book on amazon and it'll publish yeah, yeah do that He'll be hooked. <laughs> He's asked something like, what's the square root of four? But instead of saying two, he wants to say, oh, I want to see how smart they are. And he does this long other formula, which the answer also is two. Yeah. E okay. to the i pi plus three. 
Well, it was more complicated than that, even. It was, it was, very was that it? I don't remember. It seemed longer than that. Okay, here we go. Um, Carl, I have a question. Are we yes. on game number 92 or 93? 92. Season, 92. Season two, episode 35. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe people keep talking to this stuff. First, first February. Today's the third, huh? Not Groundhog's Day. Can you imagine if it's Groundhog's Day? We'd have to repeat this over and over and over. It's not been a bad day, but... Today is a bad day. It's the anniversary of the day the music died. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Paul Fidalgo said that. And yep. I was like, oh, what a yeah. downer. Thanks. Yeah, 1959. Yeah. 1959, yeah. Oh, yeah. Geez, thanks. I like the song, though. Oh, come on. My favorite. Pie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's fine for a while, but then after about 15, 20 minutes of hearing it, you're kind of over. <laughs> or you no. listen to it twice in a row then. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no, I sing along and try to remember all the words. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Al's version all day. Yeah, the, 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 the saga long. begins. No, no, I can't stand that one. Sorry. <laughs> Just no. Uh -uh. Anyway, here we go. So there we're going to start off. And remember, we have a couple new people. So remember, be on your best behavior. Oh, here comes the lyric. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best behavior. That's not possible. I, I want to represent ourselves well. So I'm going to put Larry over. We, we only have seven. Okay. I don't want to put seven. Over. There's already... that's, that's plenty. More than we usually have. Yeah, attendance is up tonight. It is. Uh, I, I invited two other people. They may show up within an hour or so. Hi, Larry. Larry? Oh, hi, Larry. Two other people who do I know them? Uh, I don't think so. Jim is here from Calgary as well, Larry. Susan, huh. you really need to start charging. <laughs> yeah. But you'll make out like a bandit. Oh, that's. I, I invited I invited someone from Ottawa and uh, the other person's from Florida. So. Oh, neat. Okay. okay. So Larry, I'm going to put you on. I have. I'm going to put you so on the both, last team. So they're both going on the two hours five. ahead of uh, Susan. <laughs> yeah. Have, have we chosen teams yet? Or Here we go. Names? Yeah. yeah. Well, no. I'm going to. They're announcing it right now. Okay. So. Okay. Avi, Bob, Gail, Jane, Jim, Karen, and Robert. What is your team name tonight? Our. Team name is We Can Count the Chickens Because They've Hatched. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> also, Rob, the um, I just looked, the formula was um, the cube root of eight is two times e to the uh, two i pi, which is correct. <laughs> Thank you, Avi, for that information. I was the same way since I just started listening to the book. I'm like, wait, what was that, what was that uh, formula again? And I totally oh, ignored that. So fast. Yeah. Okay, so next team, Deborah, James, Jamie, and Caspian, Janine, Kyle, and Romero. We are, now that's what I call Trivia 92. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the significance of 92? Game Back number 92. Game 92. Okay. 42, 50 years late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, darn it, and it won't let me. I have to take that apostrophe out to put trivia, or I take that out 92. Okay. I want to put it there so it fits. Okay. Next room Brian Kirby, Daniel, Carl, Kevin, Paula, and Richard Saunders. <laughs> Somebody's already giggling. Paula, you better say the name. <laughs> Paula has to say it. Paula has to say it. <laughs> Put in the chat. Well, I'm just going to say it first. Waiting for Susan's other ball to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I insisted that the name has balls somewhere in it. Of course. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so we got to spell it B A L L E S, right? Yep. Other balls to drop. Okay. Put it in the chat. So, so, like just so much for being on our best behavior for the new people. <laughs> It is the award called ball That is being on our best behavior. <laughs> oh, yeah. you didn't know our other ones. <laughs> it's called Robert P. Balls Award. B-A-L-L-E-S. So it is balls. 
Put it in chat so I can just copy. I am, I am. All right, all right. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I just about to do it. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. That was sad. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I see why we're giggling. So Ben, Faith, Jeff, Julie, Jordan, and Robin. Who are you guys? It's no problem. Oh, that's cute. It's no problem. Uh, uh, mm. it's no problem. Not here, that's for sure. It's no problem. Okay, room five. Alan, Isabella, Jamie, Jane F, Peggy, Terry, and Vincent. Oh, no. <laughs> How much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground <laughs> well done susan <laughs> <laughs> oh lord the name's not hard enough i'm sorry you have to go back to the drawing board <laughs> <laughs> no, no, how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog it. could hog ground there you have to go. say it three times fast three times they're, they're all <laughs> one syllable how hard can it be yeah it's easy. <laughs> that's easy that's not much fun as how many loads would rob low rob if rob low could rob loads or how many <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. So Did she sell them the Seychelles. The shell in the Shells <laughs> Island, yes. We can, okay, Seychelles. here's the team names. We can count the chickens because they've hatched versus now that's what I call trivia 92. Versus Susan's waiting for the other balls to drop, versus it's no problem, versus how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Hey, nice. So this is going to be fun. Okay, so we got some great team names. People have no idea who's going to be the winner, but somebody's going to be the winner of this tonight, which is tonight, 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 which is February the 3rd. Thankfully, it's not Groundhog's Day, at least not here. It's game number 92, 92, season two, episode number 35, 35, and we are on a new trajectory. We have two new players tonight. This should be fun. We're going to have a full room. We've got uh, seven people, I think, in each room, something like that. So uh, this should be very interesting. So here's what's going to happen. Do not say your answers out loud. Everything's going to be in the chat. And Vincent has agreed to be our uh, facilitator tonight to be able to um, mute you all. So he's in charge of the, uh, uh, of the of whatever, it is, whatever he's in charge of. So muting people and uh, and letting so, people in the room and so on. So, so I, so each of us types out anything we think is right and then no 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 no, no. 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 keep it just, all in your head to get in your team. Yeah, say nothing. To your room. So what's going to happen is be in the chat. we're going to read them. So the The person who's in charge is going to read it out, and then you're going to be sent to your team, and then your team is going to discuss it, and then you come back. It'll be, it, it'll make sense in a minute. And we'll put okay. all the questions in the chat. Too. Yeah, the questions will go in the chat. I have no idea what the categories are going to be tonight or the questions at all. Oh, Karen, that's cute. I like your hair today with the little flowers. It's adorable. Aww. So I have no idea what the questions are. I have no idea what the categories are. Each person who's writing a category doesn't know what the other categories are going to be. So they could all be Olympics tonight or something. And we would, there's no way we would know because that's how we do it. It's really strange. So far, we've been pretty good about not nothing seemed to duplicate each other, but that's hard to say. And it would be the least fun game since I started. Of the Olympics, yeah. Well, I'd be punching Judy all over again. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, you're you're gonna be muted. Everybody's gonna be muted. The only people who are allowed to say anything is if you have something very funny to say. Uh, <laughs> it's the only time you're allowed to unmute yourself, and you can hold down the space key, and you'll be able to to. Um, Say something if it's it's got to be really good. If you have um, a legitimate question, it has to be in the form of a joke. <laughs> yeah, legitimate <laughs> questions are not allowed. <laughs> no, because we we don't ask a lot of questions because if you ask questions, sometimes it gives hints to the other team. So be very careful how you ask questions. And I will be on the team uh, in a moment. We can count the chickens because they hatched. So Gail yeah. has already got her first her first. Um, uh, co-host and she's going to give us the category and then we all get to groan or cheer because we like the idea of whatever it is she's picked out and then Vincent's going to do his magic and mute us and then Gail's going to read out the question. I, I just wanted to add one thing before we go for the new people the person who wrote the questions 
we'll visit all the rooms. So if you need to ask for clarification, you can wait till you're back with your group too. That's true. Take all the fun out of everything by explaining everything fine. Yeah. Or if you or if you don't like the, the the questions, you can just tell them to their faces too. Right? Yeah, that's true. You can always just. But, yeah, up. that's usually what happens. Everybody who's writing a category tonight is is established, done this multiple times, so they can take the heat. So it's okay; you can let them have it. It's only the new people who write a category for the very first time are we a problem. We're nice. I mean, really nice too. <laughs> oh, my yeah, old boss just said thank you. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna mute everyone. Oh wait, let her say the thing so she can so we can grow oh. category. Yeah, okay. what's your category? So we have to be grown. Um, I, I decided to pick a category that, because some of us are experts in some topics and others on other topics, I decided to pick a topic that I don't think anybody here is an expert on unless you have a hidden talent that I've heard about before. Uh oh. We're going to talk about seahorses. <gasps> sea yes! Yes! I love it! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> From the coast. That was my major in college. Oh. No, that's not <laughs> I have four over here. <laughs> I, I lost the seahorses. I lost My old company money, logo had a seahorse in it. I used and to be a sea I'm, cowboy. And as we're starting this, I did get some seahorse pictures, which could perhaps help some people. I don't know how, but perhaps. And with thank you to Susan, who directed me to the Google place where you do this, mm -hmm. I managed to learn how to create a file to share. And I hope if you click this link that I've put up now, you can see some seahorse pictures. Okay, so go ahead and mute us, Vincent. No, it says you need access. Yeah. Well, we can fix we, that. How do you do it? Somebody talk her we through. We can mute ourselves, can't we? I mean, that's not too bad. No, no, let somebody talk, talk to her about how to do that. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing the muting? No, no, no. Oh, Gail, I don't think you heard me. No one can see it. Yeah, so page, here's what you're going to do. You have to request access. We can yeah, you, fix that. We can yeah, fix that. Go up, go up to the right. Yeah, what the am right I doing? top. Go up to the right top to copy the link. And there should be something there that'll tell you when you copy yeah. it to share with people that actually, have access. Actually, I have the direct I put the instructions. link in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So just let click, Faith. Click up Faith. on the top right on the share button. And when you click on that, it'll say, it'll have a little dialogue box that says get link. And it'll say what people can do with the link. And the problem is, is that uh, right now, like no one has any access. So you have to actually say like anybody with the link can read it. It's very quick to fix scale. You'll be, you'll be all right. So you click the oh, share button up to on the to top Google right and, and it should bring okay, you up. I'll go to Google link. and do that if you all have the oh. question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, you shared a you shared a link with us, but it's a restricted link, and we need uh, anyone can see the files link. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's fine, and you'll be it's easy to fix, and and we'll be able to see it in a minute. Thank you. Okay, I will do that. Okay, first question: Science now true or false? Science now believes there are about forty-seven to fifty different species of there are about seahorses, of course. Although they once thought there were as many as 200. Okay, question two. Is that a true or false? Right. Yeah, true or false. True or false. Okay. Should I mute everyone? Yeah, go ahead, Vincent. Yeah. Gail, okay. don't forget to unmute yourself. Okay. Are you going to count? Okay. Question two. Which of the following is not true about seahorses? The multiple choice. A, some species can be very tiny, even as small as a pine nut. B, some large species can be as large as a banana. C, they can change color to match their environment. Or D, they are excellent swimmers, which is their major defense against predators. Okay. Question three. Oh, okay. Never mind. True or false? Because they have multiple sex partners, the most beautiful males can impregnate as many as 10 to 20 females in a single breeding season. Okay. 
Horn dog. Question four. Compared to other animals, what is the most unusual thing about how seahorses give birth? Question five is another multiple choice. Which of, which of the following is not true? A, seahorses make noise that sounds like smacking lips that can be heard underwater. B, they are a tropical animal that require warm seawater to survive. C, they are biologically a species of fish. Or D, they live mostly sedentary lives in calm, shallow water like seagrass beds and coral reefs. Okay, question six. Seahorses must eat almost constantly, 30 to 50 times a day. The question is, what do they eat? And there are a number, there are several categories of food that they eat. So all you need to do is name one of the several categories of their major food. Okay, question seven. In addition to habitat destruction, pollution, and use in Chinese medicine, what is the other reason they are considered to be a threatened species? Question eight. What is the Latin name for the seahorse that translates as sea monster? Question nine is another multiple choice. Which of the following is typical of their anatomy? A, they have fins and scales. B, they do not have stomachs. Food passes right through them. C, they, they swim using their fins to propel them headfirst for speed when being chased by one of the many predators that consider them delicious. Or D, they have no teeth. They do suck food with their snout called pivot feeding. And I left out the word gnat, not, it is which is not typical, okay? Three of them are typical, one of them is not. And finally, question 10. What is the name used to refer to newly born seahorses? Okay. Are there any important questions? I also have uh, some references that I will give you later. Most of this did come from National Geographic. So. Okay. So do you do you think you've got uh, how to uh, do the Google? Well, I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Google and see if I can figure it out. Because obviously a, there's something there I needed to click, right? Upper right corner. It's the upper right corner. And what you're trying to do is look for something that's a share option. And it'll say, you want to click it so it says anybody with the link can view this. Okay. I will do that. And then when, when you have it, then we'll put it in, in the thing, in the everybody's well, room. Well, the link is there. Won't it, it won't still work. I'd have to put it um, in. You might have to get, you might get a new link. It'll oh. say copy this link. It's it, it'll walk you through it. Don't worry, Gail. You'll be fine. So okay. let's 
Uh, Vincent, can you send everybody a, the rooms? I have a question, a, a clarification question that I think is going to come up for everyone. Mm -hmm. On question nine, you said you left out the word not. Not if three of them make... are typical, one of them is not. Okay, so B is they do not have stomachs. So do they not not have stomachs? Is that how <laughs> this is? <laughs> it just confuses me. Double negative. Hate double yeah, negative. Yeah, exactly. I, I just not confusing. It's okay. You're asking, do they? I, I, I'm reading it again, and I was not as wrong as I thought I was. Okay. Um, three of them are true. One of them is false. With the not in this question or not with the not question? If it, if it's, it says they do not have stomachs. If you no, 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 no. So are, we, are we amending I, the question to include the word not? or, or is I the way it's really, I, three, I, of I those, three of those statements are true. And one of one them is of the them opposite. Is false. One of so them is identify the, the one of the four that is not true. So forget so about if the you word. Think they not. have stomachs. Yeah. Yeah. Then you would say that B was not true. If you think they do not have stomachs. But Gail, the first thing you said was you left the word not out of the question. I think we could all understand. Move beyond that. Yeah. I think the we could understand. Was There's no point. Of yeah. The okay. Three, God, let's please not just be clear. Three of the statements this, are please. true. One of them. I'm sorry, I still don't get it. I'm not being difficult. One of them yes, is the Rob, reverse. We got it. One of them is the opposite. Well, I didn't get it. Well, we'll figure it out in your room. So a, Gail, a Gail, wait. go through it. Go through it and say true or false for each one of the four. One of them is false. The other three. Uh, are true. Gail, one sense. quick question. Number four. Uh, yeah. When you say animals, that I mean, are we talking uh, uh, in the whole animal world, uh, like We're anything that's alive. We're talking the whole animal world, but especially fish, or yeah, okay. or sea animals. But yeah. it's true of the whole animal world. All right. Okay, fantastic. Maybe not insects and lower things. Yeah. The animal world. Good job, Gail. This is definitely a category we don't have, and I might actually know some answers. I'm shocked. <laughs> cool. Gail, do you want to send okay. us to our rooms? Do I do that? You sure can. How do um workout rooms? Mm -hmm. Or I can, it doesn't matter. Go to your room. Gil Gil's got it. What open all rooms? Yep. Okay. Hey. Good job, everybody. And I will add the people to the rooms that are not yet added to the rooms. So that would be, I think it's just Vincent. I mean, it's just Larry. I think you're going to go to room five, Larry. How much ground could a woodchuck groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? And I'm going to room one. Good job, Gail. Uh, yeah, I have all guesses too, but they're all just guesses. Hello, team. I'm wondering if anyone actually, like, you know, has a better idea than a guess. I know something about I, I know four of them. That's good. We're, we have uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium. Maybe Aquarium one, two, here. Three, four. Oh, five, six. I've got seven that I'm that, that I've got a fairly moderately confident guess about. <laughs> so how do you guys want to do this? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. No, six that I've got a fair. So oh, since uh, seven. His first yeah, no, time, seven. Why don't we go through and the ones that he believes he knows? And if we have high agreement, then we could know we could work on the others. Yeah. Sure. That's fine with me. Okay. Oh. Would you enjoy that, Jim? What would you okay. like? Okay. Okay. Like number one, that sounds plausible, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think it. I think it goes the other way. That um, was my. That was my inclination, Bob. I put false. Gail, Gail tends to do that. It, it makes it sound like a trick question, and it's it's more straightforward. So I think it's the other way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Forty-seven to fifty seems low. Yeah. I would just think because the more they so, study them, they realize they can't interbreed and therefore they're different species. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we go through with the ones Jim knows he knows? Oh, thanks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Which one is not true for two? I uh, I thought it was D. Yeah. I came up with D. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, number That's three, I, I thought was false. That's the thing remember. about the breeding that was unusual is the male pregnancy. Right. So yeah, that's, awesome. that's why I didn't think three could be right because. Yes. You're yeah. good, Jim. Yeah. Right. Uh, five, I, th I, I put down A is 
let's see, was that the not? Anyway, I put down A. Do you know that's? Do you know that to be true? Okay, hang on. If I, I'm going to look at the chat. Um, back up uh, five A. Oh, that's just the one that I thought mo most unlikely. Oh, okay, I guess yeah. I guess A two. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's what I guess. I think yeah. A sounds good because how do they really hear that underwater very well? Uh, really no, there are species which I mean they've had like yeah. what, who's that noisy on Skeptic's Guide, which is under the water. Do you know others to be noise. true, Jim? Do you know other answers for sure? Um, okay, I know that they're biologically species of um, sedentary. What, yeah, what somehow D sounds right, B sounds right, yeah. and C, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So a is, the only one, the only, a is the only one that didn't that sound rather yeah. unlikely to me. Yeah, yeah, B is definitely true. true. Are They're we still talking about water. five? Yes. Yeah, 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 five. Okay. Uh, I have a guess for six, but I'm not super sure of that. Yeah. Uh, How about no we idea. come back to guesses? Which ones do you know you know? Yeah. Okay. Nine. Okay. I thought beef sound the, really unlikely, and and I'll put the link in chat for the thing. thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, um, I, you have to put it in each group's chat now. Yeah. Because okay. we don't see it. I, I will go around and put it in each group's chat. Yeah, because we don't see it here with ours. Okay. C seems okay, but does anyone know on number nine? No. No, but C seems wrong. Okay. They, I don't think they have fins and scales. Okay. They no. They they have fins, so they have little. Oh fins yeah. In the back oh yeah. But not scales, do they? Yeah, they're I think all, they do. Yeah, but they're tiny. They're yeah, of course. They are what biologically I, fish. I know that. Yeah. yeah. I thought you said you had the aquarium there, you, Susan. I do, yeah. but we don't have a lot of they. The the seahorses are only um, uh, once in a while. They're not mm. a. That's not mm. a typical fish for our area. It's mm. like, especially so if, it's only if we go back to one, I know that there are 47 to 50 different species, but I do not know that they once thought there were as many as 200. So part of that could, I mean, if I don't know if it's um, true, it, true in its entirety. Wait, wait, so now we're back at one. All right. So we all agreed it was the other way. So do you absolutely know I, this 47 to 50? I know. I'm okay. Well, guessing. so then I know. Gail, then it's still on. giving me access denied. I know that there are four. The one I just put in? Yeah. It should work because this is sharing. No, nope, it's, it's not. It's not. So there are, in fact, uh, about 50 different species. But what I don't know is that well, they yeah, thought that there were be... as many as 200. So, Gail, you wouldn't have put like part of the of like of a number wrong and part right, would you have? Sure. Why wouldn't she have? Uh, no, I would not have put part of a number right and part of a number wrong. Okay. What do you mean? I put the 47 to 50 is a correct statement. And I put 47 to 50 because apparently there's some disagreement. Some of the references said 47 and yeah, yeah. 50. Yeah. And 200 is at some point or now is right. It's not the like it's 200. 200. Is the, yeah. the question yeah. is, was it yeah, once right. 200? It's not like it's 205 and we're going to be wrong because no, it was really no. 205, right? Okay. So I don't oh. know if at once, one time they thought there were as many as 200, but it is true that there are 47 to 50. Well, then I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm inclined to change that to true then. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Gail, since you told us that about the, the science does believe the 4750, you should let the other teams know that too. I will do that. Okay. Yeah, do, do, so do we really need to know to see the photos by the way you're working hard on this but i don't know that we really need to see them for any i know she's gone well i i i really well, she says it was a suggestion if she could find it i don't know about i mean she's already gone to tell them that but yeah, yeah, yeah. i already said that's true and told you before she gave us any information and now the other people will may have a better chance of getting that right now too okay so well, we have an answer for one we have answer for two we answer for three answer for four, two is B. five so which one don't we do we didn't look answer at answer for three is uh, oh, well, uh, two, what was two two is d, d as in david oh swimmers okay they are not excellent swimmers okay yeah. they're not yeah that's true and yeah that's that is yeah. correct yeah that yeah, that, that that was my guess because whenever I've seen pictures of seahorses, they're got their tails wrapped around stems of seaweed yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like just go with the 
the, the drifters the hives and yeah. stuff yeah and the uh, sea dragon all right so three yeah. three was false it's all leaves you know? right four yeah. was uh the males the males birth. the male pregnancy five right. was so are they actually pregnant or are they carrying it after how does that work Sure, they, they're doing something similar to pregnancy they good they, they have the eggs in a pouch yeah that's what i kind of remembered from seeing them at monterey uh five was a right was it we didn't that was a guess that was not uh for sure well, well we know that they, they like warm seawater they are fish and they do grab their tails around seagrass and coral reefs and stuff okay so i don't know how you're, you're right do. rob yeah, yeah I hear that days. enough. You don't hear that enough. I'm going to say it again. It can't live. Right. That's true. Thank you. I never hear it here. Right. Of course, this must be almost constantly. I have no idea about that one. Anybody? Anybody got a hint at six? No idea. Oh. Um, six. Uh, yes. Well, since they tend to live in the seaweed, I would expect them to be eating the seaweed too. Brine shrimp, plankton. What? Plankton. What? What? Brine shrimp and plankton. Are those two different things? Brine shrimp. Yeah. Brine shrimp. What's a brine shrimp? Small shrimp, little tiny shrimp, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, one of the major that. categories. Oh, okay. Brine I shrimp. I don't know what the most is, but shrimpies, little tiny shrimpies. Brine shrimp. Okay. Plankton. I would say I like plankton. Yeah. A little bit of tartar sauce. That's yeah. a big. <laughs> yeah. They're not. They're not jumbo shrimp. Uh, Cocktail sauce. So wait, which one do we want to go with? Because we're gonna pick one. They're both. Both of them are part of their diet, and it doesn't say the most. It says name one. So of. you're sure you're sure of both of them. I am sure. Okay, so plug plankton then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Nine. I said. Seven. I pets. said people try to ride them. <laughs> <laughs> little little leprechauns try to ride them. Okay. In addition to habitat small. destruction, pollution, and use in Chinese, what is the, the other the, main they're, they're, major they're reason? They're captured they to, for it to be sold as pets. Could that be? Oh, that sounds plausible. Yeah. For uh, fish tanks, you know, for fish tanks and stuff. What's that, Jane? Um, I've never say, seen anybody have a seahorse in there. Yeah, I don't think oh, they'd survive I, I had, well. I had seahorses. Really? A you know, okay. we, oh, okay. could, are they the little ones that you get in the back of the magazine? Sea monkeys? No. no those are oh, brine. that might be the answer to number 10, by the way. I'm not sure. Those are brine shrimp. I think that oh, yeah. most animals get caught up in other crops um, unintentionally, like when they're catching squid and shrimp and uh so because they hang out in the seabeds and stuff maybe coral no it's kind not of coral. fishing or, or you know what i think That's net catch net catch my, actually my guess is poaching because they have i know they have sea seahorse preserves where you're not supposed to go in and bother them but then what would they watch them all the time and there's poaching for the pet trade or the Chinese medicine. What, what, that, that would kind of cover the uh, traditional Chinese medicine part. They're being captured for that reason. So don't we yeah. need another reason, not just we're capturing them? It's not that water is getting too warm, do you think? I think they're slow moving and they get caught up when they're catching other things. I don't know. The, the, uh, water temperature. the water, water too warm sounds plausible to that me. That could be. It's hurting yeah. reefs. It's hurting reefs. I would say that, I would say that habitat just Oh, I guess habitat destruction would not be warming water. I was going to say. Well, I don't know. That might that would fit habitat destruction. Uh, that would fit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How about we move on to another one and come back? Oh no! Put something in it. Put something there. Make it. Well, I think you mentioned nets. I I'm thinking. But they're nets. so small. Bless you. Some of them are very big. They're they're big like a, a, a banana. Banana size, huh? All right. We gonna move on or? Okay. Trying to get something. Okay, put put something there. For okay. seven? I read something. Number uh, eight. Heating water or whatever. <laughs> Latin name. Anybody know Latin? Latin. Well, well monstrum. That's almost, that's almost certainly got to have mare in it. God mare said. monstrum. Yeah, mare. Mare. Okay, remember, remember my Tully monster? It was no. Tully monstrum. So monstrum is the monster part. Mare. mare. Monstrum. monstrum. Mari yeah. Monstrum? Oh, good for you. I like that. Mm. Yeah, because Mari is the, yeah, I was trying to have a, or, or is she gonna say no, we're wrong because it's it's monstrum Mari. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact that we got the, the motto right last week, but we didn't say it in Latin, so we didn't get a point. That pissed me off. <laughs> 
Okay, do we, we have all the others? What is the name usually referred to by, new, uh, what's a newly born seahorse? A, a small fry. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Doesn't <laughs> you've been to the aquarium? Yeah, I know, but I don't remember that. It sort of yeah. sounds familiar. It just sounds yeah. enough familiar that I want to agree with you, but I'm like, I don't know. Come on, really? <laughs> How about a sea cult? That it, it, it sort of run, it sort of goes with the. It would be a, a sea foal. But it sounds like Karen knows that one. Karen sounds like she knows it. I She's remember good confidence. I'm. I'm. I want to go with Karen. So what did we decide for nine? I don't know. So what, this is Martin? the one. Despite the question, it's just which one's false. Right. right. Okay. Nine. Yeah, I can't believe they don't have stomachs. Why would they not see. have stomachs? Fish have I stomachs. don't think food. How could the food go right through them? What does that mean? You know, that sounds familiar though. Oh, here I comes a, here sea. comes the link again. I think it's C. They they don't they don't. Okay, they do suck food. Oh, here comes the pictures, you guys. D, D is they do D is a fact. D is factual. They do suck food. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Okay, so we can eliminate D. Okay. No, wait, wait, it's typical. Oh, that's true. D, D is true. I think no, it is which of them is not typical. Not? Yeah, I think, what? I think Remember, it, she, she forgot to put the not. Which oh. one is false? She, she's just written which of the okay. following is so false. So D is definitely okay. true. D is I think definitely it's, true. So eliminate D. I think it's C. It's wrong. They're not okay. fast. They're sedentary. Okay. This this link should well, work. I hope it works. It works, Gail. You guys are so cute. I love those so horses. And cute. do they have a stomach? Gail can't say. Susan, can you share your screen? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The... Is a is a so or not? Uh, what is we're limit? Can we eliminate letters that we're not considering? D is definitely off the table. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have fins and scales. Okay, so that leaves. I gotta move this to read it again. I think it's C. Um, I'm sorry, I lost the, the questions in the chat. Look at um, that. Right there. It's okay. They don't swim fast. They, they don't. Use, it's true that they swim. do not swim fast. That is true. Do they use their tails to swim? I think they drift. Oh. No, their tails wrap around branches. They, they, they propel themselves with their dorsal fin going back and forth like a little one wing so they, thing. Yeah. yeah, they're very slow and they kind of scoot from one place to the other. They don't. So they they don't, may, but then they have to swim with fins then. But well, one, I, it's one fin. Two fins. It's their back, their dorsal fin. What? What about the ones on the, on the right. side of them? The little two guys that are on the side of them. Well, that's the steer. The pectorals are the steer. Yeah. Okay, so so we're considering A, B, A, B, and C. Is that what I hear you say? I'm I'm considering C. Okay, know. is A? Do you know A is off the table? Well, I, I don't understand the, the B. The food passes yeah. right through them. I mean, clearly, that can't be true on its face. Right, the food good. has to be processed to get energy. You yeah. can't just pass right through them. So I'm not quite sure what Gail means by that exactly. Well, um, it, it, says, it says they don't have a stomach. But it that also says there's two statements. They don't have a stomach doesn't, but that and food doesn't, passes right through them. But that doesn't mean that as the food passes through them, they don't uh, get any nutrients in it. it well, then what's the right, right through them? Why would you put the word right? On record as saying C. I don't like that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we heard you, Bob. Um, so are we considering B and C, folks? I don't know. Gail's here. I could ask her why does it say right through them? Because that, as a, does the meaning change if you take the word right out of that? Yeah, um, no. I don't think they have teeth. Oh. No, no they, they don't. D is off the table. That, that one it does not apply. Okay. They said that the question should read, which of the following is not typical of their anatomy? No, no, no. The last thing she said, God, this is so confusing. One of these is false. Which one is false? Okay, right, Gail? D is not false. D is true. Forget D. Yeah, forget it. That's okay. true. They don't have teeth? Correct. Okay. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> so then we have A, B, C. Are there any of those that you know we should take off, A, B, or C? Jane and I are laughing. I think they have fins and scales. So I would okay, take that so out. Okay, so B or C? Yes, that seems to be what Great. it's come down to. Great. This cr crazy way of saying that food goes right through them, meaning to me they don't digest anything, which would, they would die. So I got, I got, they so die. Well. That's the reason why they die. Rob. Well, if, if yeah, food passes right through your body, you're they screwed. only live for about 15 minutes. No, their entire life cycle. Wait, wait. I don't think so. Oh. Bobby, where's your video? Oh, oh, I'm right. having wait, computer wait, wait. issues. The human anatomy, oh, yeah. the stomach doesn't take any nutrients. It's the small intestine that absorbs the nutrients so that if they have an intestine. All right, let's go, let's go with C then. That's okay. I will go for up. C for team peace and to yeah. make let's the flockmeister happy. Yeah, let's go with C. He'll never <laughs> he'll never forgive us. Everybody will be happy in a minute. Don't worry about it. <laughs> will somebody go over the answers? I don't, th I don't we think have we have I don't think we have seven. We don't have seven. Oh, seven. Oh, one. we don't. We we have two guesses for that one. What were the two? Warming water was one of them. And residual catch in nets. Uh, oh, side side catch. I think they call that by catch. By catch. catch. Yeah. yeah right. One team is already done. Room three is done. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not as thorough. <laughs> Gail, how's everybody else doing? You're mute. I, it, I think that they're ahead of you, so we can do the one minute now. I think. Okay, so you can go. You have to go back to the home yeah, room. Leave, and then do, leave this room, go the to the main minute. room, and then hit. And then right, hit so, what? And then hit um, come back, close, close all rooms. So, so we're going to run. Yeah, don't write, do that until you leave. Are we going to do side catch? No, no, we haven't decided how to pick the answer. Okay, let's vote. Side catch. What side catch? When yeah, they get minute. caught unintentionally when. Okay. When, when they're trying to do we have four? Do we have four? I abstain. We need your no. vote, Avi. What was the question? We're gonna have a blank here. Is it heating? okay? Let's okay, I think it's warm water. It. Warm water? Warming water. The water is getting warmer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go with that. I don't well, want no, that no, no, you're supposed to be voting. Because I think that goes with habitat destruction. Warm water. Are you just changed your vote? Is that what you did? I'm changing my vote. Uh, all right, how many for warm water? Okay, I'm fine with. I'm Two, fine. Three. Sounds plausible to me. Oh, but you so switched over to warm water, water Bob? So. Okay, it's warm water then. Okay, it is warm water. Okay, team, we're going for that. All right. <laughs> going for the warm water, yay. I think it's habitat. That's part of habitat destruction. That's what I think. So we'll see. Well, so, so who heard my talk? To Twenty or thirty different names. For oh, we're saying? recording now. Hey, so <laughs> I have a question for you all. Okay. So, so anybody who listened to my talk today, somebody else is asking, "Can you please tell me again the podcast you recommended?" And I don't remember which one I mentioned. If I, I don't remember mentioning any. Does anybody remember? Yeah, you did mention one, and I'd never heard didn't, of it. Before. You mentioned skeptoid. You said Didn't you mention Paul's? You said apologies to Brian. Oh, Dunn. Paul's. Pay, uh, yeah, the brand new one. Uh, Paul, what is there say yeah. now? Here's say now. Yeah. Okay. That's Here's it. Here's say you. now. Yeah. Here's say now. Okay. Three words or two? Two. Okay. So uh, it's almost wait, like heresy so. now. <laughs> I mentioned other things. I mentioned skeptoid and skeptic zone, but I didn't like it. I think it remembered those. Wait, yeah, I was here saying now, right at the beginning that. or at the end, I was saying that everybody that he, that Paul Fidalgo does really great impressions of Prince Charles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. thought he was a good host. Yeah, he did a real good job. Very. By the way, very it, it is heresy now. It's not hearsay. Oh, what is it? Heresy. 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 How do you unless spell that, it? unless you're just mispronouncing it. It's heresy. Like, How do you like spell it? H e r e s y. There's. Heresy. And there's an exclamation point. A lot of heresy started out as hearsay. So <laughs> next week, that is true. hearsay heresy. Okay. Right. Okay. So now, how it's going to work is we're going to go, and Gail is going to give us the answers. And I did get my my Google thing to to open. So thank you very much. They're very pretty. I love seahorses. They're so pretty. They are pretty. And they're so, very interesting um, animals. It's a very fun um, category because it's totally different, and I love seahorses. So Gail's going to give the answers. 
I'm going to read. I'm sorry. I'm going to read the answers and then I'll put them in the chat. Okay, it's go for it. Too long going back and forth. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll read them all first and then put them in chat. Question one: Science now believes there are 47 different species, although they once thought there were as many as 200. I wasn't worried about the exact numbers. The point was they once thought there were a lot, and now they think there are a lot less. And it is true. They apparently, because they can change color and <laughs> and physical characteristics. Um, they thought they were separate species and they're not. They have now discovered that they're the same. But do you know how many? Because we initially had true until you came into our our room. Well, that's just too sad, too bad. Oh, wait, they, are you on my team? The, the references that I had <laughs> agree. And the reason I, I, I said 47 to 50 was some said 47 and some said 50. Which no, we, we had two for anything below 50, but our concern was the. Uh, how many the hundreds that they thought were before? So they it was did, they, 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 well, they're saying as many as 200. They don't have an exact number, but they had a okay. huge number. Yeah. Okay. Okay, which is not true. They can be as tiny as a pine nut or as large as a banana. And they can change color. That's why they had the problem with the species. But they're mm. not excellent swimmers. They're very, very poor swimmers. And they don't run away from predators. Actually, what they do is try to hide. So that's D as in dog, right? So that is D. D is in two. delivery. Okay, question three. Because they have multiple sex partners, most beautiful males can impregnate as many as 10 to 20 females in a single season. That is false. In fact, most of them are totally monogamous. Some of them are only monogamous for the season, but they are very loyal to the one partner they get for any breeding season for all of them. Question four, compared to it? other animals, this is the best question. What's the most unusual thing about seahorses? The male yeah. gives birth. The, the, the That's why it'd be really hard for them to go with 10 to 20 females, because. <laughs> well, no, actually, because the female, the female deposits her egg, unfertilized eggs in the male's pouch, much like a, a kangaroo pouch but they're unfertilized eggs. The male then fertilizes them in his own pouch. They get gest are gestating yeah. and then reverse to them. So the male actually gestates the, get gestates, is that the word I want? Baby okay. and gives birth. Seahorse for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> he Fs himself. Okay. Which is the following is not <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they they do make the noises in oh. the A. They are biologically a species of fish. They have all the characteristics that scientists consider fish. And they live mostly sedentary li lives in coral reefs. They are not a tropical water. In fact, one of the pictures I showed you, and of course I didn't label it because I would be giving away the answer, is, a, is from uh, northern places, especially the uh, uh, Canada and... and uh, oh, I didn't know that. So the answer is B, as in the answer is B, as in brother. Not true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. They <laughs> must eat constantly. What do they eat? Well, the categories that are listed are plankton, tiny yeah. crustaceans, or algae. <laughs> Any one of those. Oh. Will work. Yep. We said all three. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> well, you can add one of them. You're fine. <laughs> and I know I heard one team get this one absolutely right. In addition to habitat destruction, pollution, and use in traditional Chinese medicine, what is the other major reason they're threatened? Because of human fish tank hobbyists. Oh, oh we talked yourself out oh, of that. Oh, that's what I said. Oh. By the way, is there, uh, uh, is, there, is, there any, is there anything that tra traditional Chinese medicine doesn't harm? <laughs> well, Jamie, Jamie, I happen to be in your team when you said that. Tell them what you said. About yeah, we yeah we changed. Oh, that I mean about the Chinese? Yeah, yeah. In Thailand, here you see bags with thousands or tens of thousands of dried um, seahorses. It's uh -huh. used as medicines or spice, but in the markets, you see tens of thousands of dried seahorses. Oh it's man, just, it's awful. I I said people try to ride them. <laughs> 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 Only Aquaman. 
Only very tiny small people. people. <laughs> Only really tiny people. The Wikipedia okay, right, article so also mentions bycatch. Well, isn't it, isn't it the sea monkeys that try to ride them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Only in warm water. <laughs> I'm sure they love the monkeys. Question eight: What is the Latin name? It means sea monster. Hippocampus. Oh, oh no! Hey. Campus. <laughs> That's what they call it. No, we, we put that, but we couldn't figure out how we got sea monster from hippocampus. But apparently, that's the, Latin, the translation of the Latin. No, hippo is, is horse and campus is field. Yeah. Okay. Their yeah. genus is hippocampus, so that's what we yeah. guessed. Yeah. 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 It's so it's not Godzilla. They're a different name for each of the species. They're all the same. Yeah. 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 So, so, the, so that really isn't, the, that's not a good question then, because the sea monster in Latin is not either of those. Well, words, sea monster so. is what the references say it translates to. So it must have an alternate. An alternate no, there's a hippo capping there. <laughs> okay. Which of the following is typical of their anatomy? Yeah, but tip, Gail, typically, if like the source is wrong, then everyone gets a point for it, because mm -hmm. it says translate to sea monster. And well, that's what the reference, the re I will give you my references. That's what the references say. And they all say that, so. Okay. Which of the following is typical of their anatomy? Yes, they have fins and scales. Remember, they're fish. <sighs> they do not have stomachs. The food goes in and is processed as it moves through their body. That's why they have to eat so often. Uh, they don't propel their shins and they never swim head first. And they don't chase for speed. They would not be able to do it. That's why they hide, right? Yeah. And they don't have teeth. They suck food and they call it pivot feeding. They suck the food. They're not, some people said they were filter feeders, not really. They suck the food in a very unique, totally seahorse way. <laughs> and number 10, what do they use? Wait, 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 I think you mostly got their fish, so they're called fry. Yay. Uh, I just looked up the uh, etymology of the word hippocampus. It's a, it comes from Greek for uh, uh, sea monster, not Latin. It's not Latin. Oh, it was Greek. I, I thought it was Greek. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like I said, my references said, my references said Latin. All right. Hippo so let's get to our... Uh, yeah. So we mm -hmm. had on um, number seven, we had fishing. Yes, Wikipedia lists bycatch, meaning fishing for other species. So it, it is correct then. According to Wikipedia. Bycatch okay. Why is, is valid? Because that was our guess. No, yeah. we said warm no, water. No, we said warm water. Mm. Oh. No, warm water. Not, yeah. Yeah, we initially said that, but that was already covered by the habitat destruction. Yes. Well, we had that discussion. <laughs> Gail, can you say the answer to nine again? Yeah, um, I'm busy putting these in. The C. answer to nine is C. They don't swim using their fins to propel them head first. Thank you. And they don't run away from predators, they hide from them. But one thing they do do, <laughs> She Which, said doo doo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Best behavior. Hi, Avi. <laughs> she said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Night, Avi. Already? He's having internet problems, it says. Oh. oh. I think they're all in there now. Okay, it looks like you got them here. Nine. And okay, hippocampus. and let me put in the references. Let's see. So there's a, there's something. Let's see. There's something somewhere in the brain that's shaped like the seahorse. So it's called the hippocampus. That's right. It's in yeah. the brain. In in the brain, it's the hippocampus. Yeah. Yeah. Ask that. And that's part cool. of the brain. That's named that. Yeah. It, it's it's part of the brain that is involved in memory. Hey, you too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I hope you're talking to your cat, Susan. Yeah, I am. There, there's, there's a printer right here, like right next to me. There's a printer. It's the tallest thing in the room other than the desk I'm on. And I have a 
I have something over the top of it so that the cats don't get cat fur in it. But Hamilton and Ariadne have got this thing now where they need to be one of them needs to be on it. So they keep <laughs> going up to the other and smelling the other, like, are you leave? So I can get up there. Now they're both sitting there right now, or they come over here in the sunshine. So the whole day is the two of them over here on this, or the two of them sitting here, or one of them smelling the other, or like so the, right now they've got their backs to each other and they're on this little spot about this big. <laughs> I'm like, get along. These two. Okay. Who's got who's got the cuckoo clock? That sounds great. That's me. You're a cuckoo. He's a cuckoo. <laughs> All right, great job. I thought Hunt. that was interesting. I learned a Ten lot. Early. Thank you, Gail. Hey. Okay, so let's do our scores. See you guys. That is, there are categories that are not uh, music or, or sci-fi related. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hall Hallelujah. <laughs> Seahorses are science fiction fish. <laughs> Yeah, lighthouses. Lighthouses. Don't forget, there's lots of lighthouses still out there. Bunch of Judy yeah. and Roger Ebert movies. Well, you know, there's a whole new year, so we could have Roger Ebert. Okay, so go. Let's go with our scores. So I'm going to start at the bottom. How much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Oh, you thought you were going to catch it. I have six. Okay. All right. It's no problem. Eight. Good job. Susan's waiting for the other balls to drop. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Uh, Nine. Mm -hmm. All right. So now that's what I call trivia. 92. Happen? Yep. And the one I was in, that is Gail's room. Let's see if the, oh, here comes Leonard. Let's see if the curse holes were the room. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that I'm in and the, the person who's writing the categories and so we can count the kitchen chickens because they've hatched. So Who, who's getting Leonard, I should say. I think we're well, losing Brian. We're, we, well, lost Brian. we lost Brian. Yep. Kirby. We lost, and we King also lost, lost Avi. But uh but that team had nine. Yeah, so, we're not getting anybody. No. Uh, a lot of the one that has a lost last, Alan, do we still have it? Is everybody in room five? Oh, you don't need it? Leonard. You shush. Thank you, well, Terry, Vincent. We're in last place. We get them. No, I don't know. <laughs> I think I should put them up here. I'm going to put them in this team up here. We need him. <laughs> well, you've it's got Alan, Isabella, Jamie. It's uh, not clear Peggy, anyone really needs Peggy, me. Terry, <laughs> Larry, that's just so many. They're all there. fighting over I you, I think Leonard. the whole world needs the Leonard Tramiel. Yeah, but Isabella keeps getting locked out of her dorms, so I don't even know if she's there. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> all right. I, I, I left my key, because we're on a key Leonard. system. I left my key in the room, and the person at the front desk didn't know how to like let me back into the room, because there's like a spare key. And so then I was standing in the hallway with like food for like 20 minutes. This is like a your your adventures at school like a so it's a horrible day. This is like I've never, this is this day sucks. Well, at least it's not February second. It's Groundhog Day where you have a chance that it's going to repeat every day. <laughs> like I, I really don't like how this day's going. I woke up with so much like hope and promise for the day, <laughs> and then it's just after eleven o'clock, just did a sharp turn for like yeah. That's, that's my whole life. Life. Is that the best advice I can give? Isabella, okay. do you want to know the good news? Yeah. Your day just got 10 times better. I know. <laughs> Very good. Well, if it, well, if it was I, mean, I shouldn't really be complaining because my friend brought me uh, horchata and uh, a chicken quesadilla, so that was pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go round two. Ready? Was it scoring zero before, so now it's 10 times better. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> or seven times better at least. So we're gonna take a break after the second category. So if you get them hold in, well, here we go. Caspian, you are up. Uh-oh. All righty. I didn't know that. Oh, now you do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, my category tonight is things 90s kids remember. <laughs> oh yeah. 
I want awesome, one seventies awesome. kids remember. That's what I want. I won't be good at this. <laughs> uh, I, was immature, I was very immature in the nineties, so I, it'll still count for me. <laughs> in three, two, one. No wait. Oh, I'm sorry. That's very good. I, 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 we've never had a category like that. Okay. Okay. Question one. These cardboard collectibles slammed into popularity before being replaced by other collectibles. Question two. Millions of kids learned the heartbreak of death and the weight of responsibility through these. This is depressing. <laughs> Question three. Maybe the grossest way to serve candy, if a convenient way to carry it. Question four. Simple to make, many a preteen crush was revealed to friends through these. Question five. This company produced colorful notebooks you could see from a mile away. Question six. It blinks, it coos, and you can even feed it after midnight. Question seven. This green toy was the bane of many a vacuum cleaner. Question eight. This annual school event collectively cost parents millions of dollars, money that most of them hopefully considered well spent. Question nine. What is the most valuable Pokemon card released in the base set? And question 10. This abusive wearable trend often wound up banned by your teacher. Well, Faith is having a good time with these. How old are you, Faith? <laughs> 38, so I am a 90s kid. Oh. I had I had a lot of this stuff. <laughs> you. I hope I, I divided the rooms up well. And she's on Come my and join team. our team. <laughs> no, good job, Cassie. Totally different. I love it. Okay, so Cass, you want to send this to our rooms? Faith is in my in my house, so can I ask her for the answers? Uh -huh. My kids, my kids were ninety three and no, ninety seven, so we I'm grew sorry. up in shit. I'm sorry, you had a deprived childhood, Ramirez. So I need to put Jamie back into his room, which is where are you, Jamie? I'm looking at these words, and I am not seeing it. Oh, you were in room five, Jamie. And Leonard, you are going to go into room one. So I will see you someday soon, but not right now because I'm going into room two. Hello. Not much. Uh, Hi, Tim. Kyle, do you remember any of this? You're young. I have a few of these, yeah. I have a couple I, of these. I, I know a couple okay. of them. Oh, oh, well, we all have one. different couples of them. Pokemon. One is, no, one is Pogs. I yeah, think. one is that's Pogs. It, yeah. Oh, that's right. Which, yeah. oh, one is, oh, that's, what's that? How do you spell it? P-O-G-S, I think. P-O-G-S. Yeah. They're like little cartoon. Tamagotchi? Wait. <laughs> oh, this was the Tamagotchis. Yeah. How do you spell it? Oh, well, I was going to say Tamagotchi. books. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's two? Number, uh, Tamagotchi is number two. Number three is a pacifier. What's, wait a minute. What's, no. Tom, Tom's got you? What? Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. It was a little thing that you carried around that you could kill. You had to constantly feed it or put it to sleep, oh. whatever. You had to push oh, back. Oh, that's right. And so that's everybody, right. And the schools banned them because they were like, beep, 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 beep. It was How awful. do you spell it? Tamagotchi? Yeah. Oh, Tamagotchi. Yeah. Like Japanese. Kind That's of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no like idea. Um, grossest way to serve. It's a it's a pacifier. I think this is ring um, pop. pop. Ring pop? Ring pop. Ring pop. Well, it was a pacifier. Ring pop. You stuck it in your mouth. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But it's called a ring pop. I know. Pop. I think he means yeah. ring pop. He's right. Yeah. Yeah. I was right. Okay. Um, or is Ouija oh, board? Uh, I also don't have a question. So something with encryption, maybe? A Ouija board. Well, those are a lot older than the oh 90s. Yeah. I had one when I was hand. Hand. Okay. It was, yeah, it was oh, that little thing. Oh, oh, the, oh, yeah, I remember that paper thing. thing. I mean, we had them in school too, but I don't yeah. remember what they were. I remember. 
Oh my god. We're a number. Uh, which number are, are we on? Sort of like a little really movable or origami. But it's simple to make, so it'd have to be something you Yeah, you it's I think it's a Caesar like, cipher. What? What about what? those little things that uh like made of like they did of plastic and then it was like a little bracelet that you could put now in. these but were things that it was folded. paper it was origami yeah, folded paper, paper and you four four make, color, color, make like the little four four but sided what were they called things. how does it reveal a crush fortune teller you write you something write you write some names inside, inside it and then you go and then you, it, and then you can it. open and and then it, when you open it you know yeah. like, oh you've, you've missed out yeah <laughs> Yeah. And it what, doesn't have to be something they, that only the kids from the 90s remember. It's well, no, thing that, no? Yeah, we had them. I had them when I was We going. had them. But yeah, what right. are they called? Origami Can paper. Can you hear me? Yes. What? What are they called? Can you hear me? Yeah, you we can hear you. What did you say, Jamie? What? Do you have Can't the word? Put it in chat, Jamie. I can't, I'm on a tablet. It's really hard. Oh, okay. No, we can hear you now. Okay. And the cat. Look at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say it was, Jamie? The, some sort of fortune teller, or they might call them mash fortune tellers. Fortune tellers. Okay. We know, you what, know what we're talking about. It's a, it's that, yeah, it was a little origami fortune teller paper thingy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got five. five. Okay. What's five? That's Lisa Frank. Who? Okay. <laughs> Lisa Frank. Is that the notebook question? Then it is yeah. Lisa Frank. Yes. Yeah. I never, never heard of it. Okay. The green toy was a bane of many a vacuum. You would recognize it if you saw it. Now, what did, wait, wait, you skipped, skipped uh, six. six. Was that Furby? Oh, it blinks and coos. Yeah, six is the Furby. Huh? Furbies. Furbies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seven, I don't know, though. Green toy that was the bane of many. Not Lego. I thought that was Legos, but they have all colors. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Gumby. <laughs> what about that slime that uh that? Oh. That yeah. But that yeah. wind up in a vacuum. Or though? silly string. Silly string. But yeah, that was not, it was colors. all kind of colors. But yeah, silly string, string is yeah. green. What's green? Some of it is. Some of it glows in the dark. Yeah. This is, um, I think cool. I think you're right, Romero. I think it was that uh, silly putty, but it wasn't green. Okay. Silly putty was brown. Oh, was there was a slime okay. one. There was a slime. Green slime. Green slime. Green slime. Yeah. I think it's something yeah. hard. Yeah, I like that. I could be wrong. Well, for now, it's green slime because we don't know the name of the green toy that's hard. But I think that's what it was actually called. Um, green slime, yeah. Is that just picture day on eight? Oh, that's a good <laughs> guess. Yeah, I bet it's. I was thinking day. it was wrapping paper, you know, whenever they sell. Oh, wrapping paper, yeah. Those the, fundraisers. Yeah, the fundraisers. Or, everybody's like, up, uh, Ugh. The fundraisers where you had to sell magazines or candy or. Fundraisers, yeah. I remember at a PTA meeting one time they were talking about it and they were, no, we should get the candy because everybody really loves it and it'll be easy to sell. And I'm like, well, why don't we just have them sell cocaine then? <laughs> <laughs> that is so like you, Deborah. Yeah. I will give you $20 to not force me to sell. What about yeah. the prom? What there about prom? Can, there was candy, but what was it? Oh, proms? What was but that question? cost the parents millions. This says. So they all, it all cost the parents millions. Oh, I yeah. hated them. Oh, I hated my. those things. It could be any of those things, but yeah, yeah it's a little vague. I think it's what the fundraisers. The fundraisers. The fundraisers. Yeah. I yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking of. As soon as she, he said it, I was like, oh, I yeah. hated those wrapping yeah. paper stupid things. That's right. You're paying three times the price. Most valuable Pokemon card. Is it Pikachu? What was the question? What what is the most valuable Pokemon card released in the base set? I don't think it's Pikachu. Um, it's a weird name. I didn't play this game, but like Chorizal or something like that. I think Ken is just the wife beater, right? The shirt. I don't know what the questions are. Okay. Oh. 
Well, are we at nine still, the Pokemon cards? Yeah, what is the most valuable Pokemon card released in the base set? I only know Pikachu. I can only name two of them. Hmm. What's the other one besides Pikachu? No idea. Okay, question 10. This um, abusive wearable trend often wound up banned by your teacher. I was thinking of thong. The slap bracelets. The what kind of bracelets? The bracelets that, that that you slap, slap on your bracelets. wrist. Slap bracelets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap bracelets. Oh, good one, huge. Jamie. What is it abusive? Yeah, you slap, you slap it off yourself. And then you they could curl slap it on some of a friend. Like, and then it hurts. Oh, I don't even remember that trend. They were like it. kind of stiff and they look like a stick and then you slap it on your wrist and it curls up into a bracelet. So the whole fun part of it was slapping your arm or your friend's arm? You're slapping yourself. Oh boy. Let's go back to nine. Yeah. Um, you I asked, uh, I, I asked my son, he thought it might be Charizard. There it is, Charizard. Charizard. There you go. Casey had a purpose today. <laughs> Tell him, he had one thank one. you, Casey. You have, you, <laughs> your education wasn't wasted. He said it wasn't, he didn't know about the value base. That was one of the more rare. How about ones? the green toy that was a bane of many of a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. That. I don't know. Are I you sure that's not just thing. straight up slime? I think it could be just slime. But why yeah, would that I be in the vacuum? Is. I don't understand that. You part. left it on the floor. Oh, it's on the floor. You, the yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. We got you, Caspian. We know most of these. I just want you to know. Oh, well, I spent a lot I'm of time so in a cocky, environment thinking about these. <laughs> That you did. <laughs> you, you're picturing the garage, right? <laughs> uh, can we go back to four? Are you sure it's not a Caesar cipher? Like if, so, if you send a basic encrypted message, it's easy to break. And that would oh, it be encrypted, the... all right. I'd like to see any men figure that out. I don't even know which one that is. Simple to make. Many a preteen crush was revealed to friends through these. It was. It was definitely that foldy thing. It was yeah. a foldy yeah, okay. thing. And yeah. I, but it's, I mean, he remembers them. Know was, I remember them too from kindergarten. Yeah, I, I played with them when I was in like sixth grade or something. I remember these things. Yeah. Um, so the, I think you had to take a, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and make it square and cut off enough of it for it to be square. And then there's a certain way you folded it. Fold it. And then yeah. it ended up so you could put four fingers in it, like your both thumbs and your fingers. Yep. And then you'd go, doop, 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 and it would it would open up a different way. And it would and it land on somebody's name. Yep. Yeah. Or a number or whatever it was that. But the question been. is, what like was that? the official name at that time? I've there was it. never an official name. That's okay. the answer. <laughs> Who is the we theory? know what it is, but but when we hear the answer, we yeah. can be the judge of it. Fortune yeah. teller, I we guess. Have to what it was. We have to stay here now, Cassie. We weren't supposed to close it until you left. The room. What did What did you just guys decide? That's fine. Head on turn. Okay. Um, seven. What did we decide on slime? No. Green, green slime. slime. Green slime. Ten. Ten. And what on? Uh, Ten. Ten is a slap bracelet. Slap bracelet. Okay. What did we decide on for eight? eight. Three is oh, um, a ring pop. Fundraisers. No eight. Eight. Picture fundraisers. fundraisers. What about picture day? I think I think fundraisers. Okay, fundraisers. fundraisers. Fundraisers were. Why would fundraisers paper? cost the parents? Because they because you had to buy it. You had to buy it. Buy it. Buying all the stuff because you know, like money raised from other parents. Yeah. 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 Picture day sounds maybe like considered money well spent, but picture day is can... not unique to the nineties. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be unique to the nineties though. <laughs> It's just something that the kids. Woohoo! Not, not that I'm saying, Gail, we would have gotten it right anyway, because we would have never come you up. You guys with still it. arguing even about that? He, even if you said Greek. Well, we, we, we were just telling Leonard that you really, no one could have got more than nine on the last one. Oh, well, fine. Does well, that make you feel better? It seemed that everybody went through this reasonably well. So mm -hmm. we lived. Mm -hmm. Yep. And relatively quickly. So yeah. we did not. Yeah, let's see. Let us do answers. The cardboard collectibles that slammed into popularity were Pogs. 
Yeah. Yay, we got Yay, Bob. Hog Champ. Yeah. Yeah. The name of Never the heard drink of that popularized them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Passion thing. fruit, yeah. orange guava. It's a big Hawaiian thing. <laughs> it, was a, it was a thing that came over. Mm -hmm. That's right. Question two. Tamagotchis. Gaspin, did you have a Tamagotchi? I did not have a Tamagotchi. I had to babysit somebody's Tamagotchi. Who's baby? Who did I have to babysit? I, yeah. I don't know. Girlings? It wasn't Seriously, Susan? Wow. Yes. Kind of like work I'm so they couldn't take it to school with them, so I had to babysit the them. Yeah, you have to feed it. No you have to throw it everything. The, the annoying as hell. And then you <laughs> kill it, and you feel so awful. <laughs> kill it? You kill it. The thing is, if it dies, it's dead forever. So some people still have Tamagotchis from back then. Yes. We'll stop Richard Saunders. <laughs> this gross way to serve candy. This is going to be ring pops. Yay! Yay I remember them when they used to have oh. Wait, wait, oh. Why, is ring pops? why is that gross? And we talked ourselves out of it. You lick oh, it man. once and you touch it on anything. Right. It's, it's immediately the grossest candy right in the world. Yeah. 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 It's true. Oh. There we go. They were, they were dirt magnets. We Drop had that when floor. I was a kid. Yeah, I, I predate the 90s by a lot. It, yeah, that's what we said. It's I, early I, I, it doesn't matter if it predates it. It's what a 90s kid would remember. Right. It was yeah, but what about the garbage more, pail? Even my what about the garbage pail full of pit. worms and dirt? Sorry, Kevin, yeah. I don't remember that. No, Kevin, Kevin, that was <laughs> <never mind. laughs> Kevin, they did not sell that Cass stuff remembers. at our school. They sold us ring pops. Ring yeah, it's gummy pops. worms in a in a garbage pail full of uh, Oreo broken up Oreo. <laughs> anyway, pills. no, that because you're not. It's Number not four. a convenient way to carry it, is it? It was a little tiny garbage pail. No, but nice these other ones you stuck in your mouth. These Kevin, ones just let it go. Kevin, you, you were wrong. As, you you were were not as a my ring. first answer was ring pops, and we said no. They came out in the seventies. <laughs> well, you failed, didn't you? I, no, I, my team failed me. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. No, that's okay. They, got, on your they carried me the rest of the way. We don't always argue, you guys. <laughs> there are times when we aren't arguing. No, I always no, we don't. <laughs> when yeah, when <laughs> when was that? Anyway, the answer to four is. So the simple to make object, somebody made it in the facility and oh, huh? Huh? I couldn't remember the name for the life of me. So finally I had to look facility? it up. Uh -oh. This the, is going to be our answer. The Wikipedia name is a paper fortune teller. Yay! Oh. A number of different answers, including oh, a yeah. cootie catcher. Good job, team. A, yeah, yeah, cootie catcher. Um, well, if we it, can describe it, oh. if, if we can describe it, is that good it's like enough? The yeah, yeah. Thing. It's like the origami thing. If you could thing, make it, you get a bonus point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes Richard. He's got it. So wait a second here. I don't understand, Caspin. The facility <laughs> you're in was making a cootie catcher? Somebody was bored and had a piece of paper. What did they write inside it? Those existed in the 70s, though, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the 90s. It doesn't say exclusive to the 90s. Yeah, I understand. Right. We got it right anyway. We got it right. We're not oh, Isabella, yeah, Isabella do that. <laughs> just Isabella like a lot of things are cyclical, yep. they come back around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just wait till Pet Rocks come back. Jordan is uh, not letting uh, any of this arguing. The Pet Rock Arsh was a wonderful butts. thing. <laughs> he made a million dollars on that too. Well, the, the best, the best part of the Pet Rock was the instruction manual. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was hysterical. Uh -huh. That that was the whole the whole thing. Yeah. Pet Let's see the the tricks you can get it to roll over. So the <laughs> so the so what's the first trick you teach your Pet Rock? Stay. 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 Yeah. What's the second trick you teach your Pet Rock? Play dead. Roll over. <laughs> roll over which is surprisingly easy if you find the right location which is the side of a steep hill it was it was a brilliant manual all right richard oh, yeah, richard's yeah. got richard's got one left oh he's got yeah. a cootie catcher so. Yay! 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 Yeah. Yeah. but what those. they used to do is they'd write something inside yeah yeah, uh, yeah. that's how you know the color of the outside sometimes with different color yeah. squares mm -hmm. yep cootie catchers Oh, I forgot that word. Okay, good job, Gas. Next. Question five. The company that produced colorful notebooks, I am looking for Lisa Frank. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. I gotta look it up. Hey, is it bad? 
Why? The way why, I why is it? to my teammates is what? it's all colorful, full of unicorns and shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That must have been a California thing. thing. I never heard of that. Caspian, it. right? Yeah. What's the answer? Lisa Frank. <laughs> yes. Gee. Yeah. I'm looking him up now. Oh yeah, they're scary. And why will why you will you not why will you not accept the thing you said you won't accept? Uh, Trapper Keeper is not a company. It's made by Mead, and they're not really the same type of thing. Yeah, these are scary, more of a guys. branded. Look, look you, you didn't read Caspian's mind. That's why. There is that too. Um, question six is a Furby. Yay. Yay. Question seven, the green toy. I'm looking for Gak. Oh, it was a slime, right? A K. Okay. Would you know? Slime, stop the green slime. Gak. It, it is a green slime. Will you take slime? No, he said Gak. Yeah. Susan, we get credit for green slime? No. No, Gak. Uh, How do you spell Gak, Cass? It's a branded thing. Golf Alpha Kilo. Oh, okay. Without the C. Okay. Yeah. No carrots in this. Nickelodeon branded. Well, it, it has to be. Yeah, Nickelodeon green. slime is not close enough. No. Oh. Yeah, but I believe yeah. the popularity of GAC was spawned by that, but it is not the same thing. Well, it might chemically be the same thing, but that I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, Do not taunt Happy Fun Ball. <laughs> So yes, we're not right the happy fun ball. <laughs> Question eight. The annual school event I'm looking for is the Scholastic Book Fair. Yeah. Oh, oh, I love that. Uh, I remember those. I, I love those. I got Scholastic so sold a lot of things that weren't books <laughs> at said book fair. Question nine. The most valuable Pokemon card is a Charizard. Yes! Apparently some of them are it. selling for tens of thousands of dollars today. Wow. Now today. Just yeah. a I like that you said the most valuable card out of the base set because there are cards worth more than that now, but they're I'm all sure like there are. They're, they're all things that were tournament with like prizes that the that the uh, winner signed. Yeah, so, I was trying to think yeah. of some kind of question about this that was not simply asking you to name Pokemon card <laughs> as a generic term because that would have yeah. been too easy in my estimation. Yeah. yeah. And question 10, the abusive wearable trend were snap bracelets. All right, Yay! Jamie. Which is Kevin what? Got, Kevin got that too. Basically a bracelet that is straight and flat yeah. until you Jordan slap it on yeah, your Jordan roof. on our they team call has them one. Slap yeah, or check, snap. check out Jordan. Where are you at, Jordan? You got one, Jordan? <laughs> I'm right here. I have a demonstration. Jordan. There's a slap bracelet. And if, if you ever looked on the inside. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I thought it had to be harder. It's a and tape it measure a on roar. the inside. It's a, it's a metal tape it's measure on the inside. Oh, oh, oh that's better. clever. Why was it banned by teachers? Because it made a lot of noise. Yeah, because it was a metric. Do it over and over again in class. Yeah, and the inside yeah. was made out of metal tape measures. It's kind of yeah. like so if you did it, if you did it enough, you would expose the metal. And then you'd cut your classmates. It's yeah. like a took our weapon it's it's thinner for those. <laughs> oh. That's clever. Or in the fashion model. Very good. All right. Very, very good. Okay, so let's do this for us. I'll show this for us this time. Well done, Caspian. Definitely different. Why does it feel like we're in a swimming pool? Hi, Richard Skitty. It's more in some echo. What's the echo from? Attitude. Oh, put all the answers in the chat. Kitty cat. Okay, so we're going to go with. Uh, how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Six. Right. Again. You're winning. One more, that's <laughs> evil. Stop the <laughs> count. Stop the count. We can count the chickens because they're hatched. Three. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. I'm not on that team this time. No so. 90s kids in our group. You're in second place. <laughs> 
All right. So now that's what I call trivia. 92. Eight. Eight. Ooh. I was on that team. Just wanted you to know. I'm on that team. Okay. It's snow problem. Eight. Ooh. And we are at the last. Susan's waiting for the other balls to drop. Also eight. Oh. Ooh. So we have so far we have a winner wiener 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 wiener. So let's do a photo real quick. So everybody shine up, look nice. Susan, can you wait until my team stops crying before you take the picture? Just <laughs> 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 pretty, pretty much as sure we lost we lost the, the all the money. Tonight. Okay, so everybody look Jordan, at the camera. You need to model your slap bracelet for the picture. Okay, is everybody there? Are you ready? One, two. Here. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get my I gotta get my board. Hold on. Oh, jeez. There you go. Okay, ready? Ready, Lord. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, got it. Oh man, that's heavy. Susan, can, I, can I request that I, I do my quick announcement now? Because I have this is it. I have to go. Sure. Unfortunately. Do your, so do your keep going well, my team. So the announcement is this week on the Skeptic Zone podcast, you can hear news of an exciting new award for Susan Gerbeck. Also, how will that be? How how does she do in the dice game this week? Find out by listening to the Skeptic Zone. Adrian Hill from Canada <laughs> comes in and tells us the mystical meaning of the number seven. And in the Trove segment, we look at psychic kids from the 1970s in California. Ooh. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Thanks, really everyone. looking forward to seeing right. you. Good to see you, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. I wonder what it is. That, I wonder what that will be, that reward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll have to stay tuned. <laughs> All right. So we're taking five minutes. I'm leaving the video and the audio running. So be careful what you say. Five minutes, we come back. So get go. Okay. Grab I'm, back. Uh, I'm, I'm bowing out. Uh, we're losing um, Jim. Yeah. And me. Well, thanks for showing up. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Bye. Bye, all. Good night. I also have to leave. What? Hi, Jordan. Even though you have no single by categories what? coming up. And it's My mom wants me to actually get sleep. Ugh. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thanks for playing. Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. We, you, lost two, we lost two players on our team. One would have definitely helped out in my category, and he's gone. Oh no. So it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be brutal. No one's no one's gonna care because we're in first place now. Yeah, but <laughs> Brian <cares>. Kirby, <laughs> Brian Kirby would have had all the answers. What you gotta do, remember you have so to So the, the topic is yes the on 502 conversations. <laughs> no. Your question, you know, it's always going to be Susan taking your place. So it's got to be something related to a. No, I didn't. I don't. I don't cow into Susan. Or... No. <laughs> no, I just picked something that I had no idea Brian was going to be on my team, but. Photography studios at J.C. Penney's. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a a quote that long before I knew Susan, I made a disparaging quote about J.C. Penney photographers. <laughs> 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 it's on my photo page. It says, just because you're a fresh rule talker doesn't, doesn't mean you're any good. The kid who makes minimum wage at JCPenney is a professional photographer. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. Because the definition of professional is 51% of your income is derived from photography. Hmm. So I'll so, never be a professional photographer. But when I retire from my day job, I will become a professional photographer. <laughs> When I was a kid, I don't know if we did J.C. Penney or Sears for portraits. I, I did both with my kids, J.C. Penney, Sears, and Walmart once. <laughs> there was no Walmart out here back on when I was a kid yet. Yeah, we didn't have when I was a kid, but my kids, I took to Walmart, and I took my kids to J.C. Penney with the Sesame Street background. They had a <laughs> nice, they had a nice Sesame Street with Elmo, and you could pick the characters or something. I have pictures of my kids on that Sesame Street background. Yep, Elmo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have a really cute picture of Sterling like that. If I showed it, he'd kill me. I remember. I, <laughs> I don't know. If well, I he's not here to laugh at, so you'll have to. But I'm recording. I know. He's not here. He'll never know.
Hold it no, till he's he here, and then just show the embarrassing one of Caspian tonight. You could use that as a bribery. Oh yeah. I'm yeah if he show doesn't come and play trivia, you'll show, show all these embarrassing photos. <laughs> That'll go over really well here. I have to be a very good mom. Good mom. Oh. Well, you wouldn't buy him a Tamaguchi. What kind of a mom are you? Tamaguchi. I Tamagotchi. He, he had Gotchi. one. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. I had to keep him alive while he was in school. I was the I was a good mom. I kept a you Tamagotchi did that alive. Him, Susan, you're so sweet. Yeah. Any, any mom the kind soul. Did alive. they have Furbies at least? No, we didn't have a Furby. Or Charizards? No, but we had cabbage. Of... Uh, Sterling had a cabbage patch doll. Of course oh, he did. Oh, 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 His name is Doyle. Do you still have him? I don't think so. Aww. He probably cut his head off. That's and too bad. There were actually had Tamagotchi's dollars now. Those <laughs> those cabbage patch dolls. I had some rare James Bond dolls, and we destroyed them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating a cheese stick, and the cats have their back to me, so they cannot see it. Ah, Aww. they don't know me. Uh -huh. Gotta be sneaky. So yeah, so yeah, we had the uh, funeral for our friend yesterday. Oh yeah. And what was so amazing was we had the whole auditorium to ourselves. It was just the three of us. Oh. Just the three of us for the funeral. So the Thanks. because the guy, <clears throat> which was my mom's friend mostly, he was uh, very much an introvert. So did not know many people. So or when he did know people, he um, didn't keep in contact with them. So, but it was uh, pretty amazing. Three of us in this huge, huge room of, so, but huh. it was interesting. That was an episode of All in the Family that happened. When Aunt Edith's, um, when Edith's aunt died, it was just Edith and 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 Archie at the at the funeral. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. It was Are you uh, having a downer time now. Yeah, it was a sad sad episode. <sighs> okay, so we're back and we're back. Are we? Yes, we are uh, back. Susan, just to confirm that Mostly. those of us who've done this frequently are prepared for it. I put in the in the chat the link and a quote from the link that says that hippocampus is Latin and Greek and the actual word hippocampus is actually Latin and that it, what it means. Thank you, Gail. Uh, she backed herself up with a slight <laughs> Right. <laughs> I've learned to be very precise about so many skeptics here. We don't oh, what does Wikipedia it. say? <laughs> We're editing it right now. Whatever you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back. So, um, Kyle, I um, finally caught the episode of you and Richard Saunders talking about uh, the the Australian Prediction Project. Where's Kyle? Is he here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, no, and not. what was really interesting about the quote? Is the hippocampus in the brain is called that because it looks like a seahorse. Yeah. yeah. I've known that before. I'd have put that in. Yeah, I've heard. Okay, there's Kyle. I was just saying we're back. Kyle, I just finally caught the episode of you and Richard Saunders talking about um, the um, Australian Prediction Project. That was very good. I Thank really you. enjoyed it. So, um, Kyle, why don't you tell everybody what's new on Data Skeptic this week? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher who works on climate science modeling and uh, how they can use AI to do predictions about climate science. In particular, if you hear this accusation that these models are black boxes, that people don't know how they work, this scientist works on methodologies for explaining how they work so that we have a better understanding of what machine learning is doing when they use it to predict the environment. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Cool. So this is part of the time series or no? It is indeed, because, you know, climate evolves as a time series. So he does these themes, you guys, and right now he's on time series. I worked temporarily yeah. for a, uh, a place that did weather modeling. It's time series all the way down. Mm. 
time is an illusion, albeit a persistent one. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so Richard Saunders already gave his, his update. Um, I have um, just did a talk for Skeptical Inquirer Presents, and it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. It's uh, an hour long. And of course, the 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 uh, uh, okay. Commonwealth Club one with Operation Onion Ring is is out. It's been mm -hmm. out for a couple of weeks now, I think. And I think that's all I got. Right? Is there anything else I need to know? I think I'm done doing talks for a while. Oh, uh, Leonard hadn't joined yet. Leonard, I I signed up for my Audible. I'm already 13 chapters into. Uh, Project Hail Mary. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, I, I, I've been like listening like crazy the past couple of days. Yeah, it's 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 great. Enjoying it very much. He even made it snow so we can go out and shovel it and, and have a reason to be outside and listen. Yeah, to I, I my uh, I was telling my team in in our room like it was so bad. My car was so stuck. I was shoveling snow out from underneath my car so that I could get it to move again. <laughs> but I was listening to uh, Project Hail Mary while I was shoveling. So it wasn't so bad. This cat. And now, Andy Rue will be glad to hear that. I'll let him know, please. All right. Yeah, so next, next time I run into him. Sure. All right. How much right. snow did you get, Ben? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have a ruler handy, but I'm pretty sure. Yes, your daughter. My area, we got about eight inches. Oh, well, we got, um, we got um, about a foot and a half. Jordan yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I did a time though. Yeah, I need, I need it. On the wrist. Yeah. This cat. We got about somewhere between eight and 10 over here. Okay. So first up is Carl, um, Kevin. I knew it started with a cat. Cut, cut, cut. cut. I, I, cracked a cookie. I had a cracker in my hand and I just cracked it on my head. Are you ready for more <laughs> state trivia? Why do they call it that? <laughs> cracker. cracker Are head. you ready for more state trivia? Not no. really. I thought it was going to be Billy Joel. No, you said that. I did Billy Joel once and just because I talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> One category. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for more state trivia. Heck yeah. Yes. Brian Kirby's no longer on my team and he would have known these. Ah. Oh. The state is New Hampshire. Okay. So um, mute everybody. I got this cat out Please. Of hey, just a sec. The first question. Before May 3rd, 2003, it was a very popular tourist attraction. Now its likeness can only be seen in old photos on a coin, a stamp, and on the state license plate. Name this attraction. I'll put them in the, in the uh, chat. Question two. What happened? I lost my voice. Number two, what current late night talk show host hails from New Hampshire? Are they going in the chat? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. Uh, maybe I didn't hit enter. Is it going in? Mm -mm. Shit. Nope. There it is. There you go. Okay. Number three, Paul Michael Levesque, born July 27, 69, better known as by the ring name Blank Blank, is an American professional wrestler, executive, and actor. And that's his name there. There's a hint based on the number of spaces, if you know anything about wrestling. Number four, <laughs> number four, name the Concord, New Hampshire resident that died on 12886. Any residents? No. <laughs> I think it's the same thing. <laughs> Some will know immediately. It's supposed to be a famous person. Yes. Well, yes. No, no hints. Wow. How many wow. miles I mean, of coastline like does somebody mean? named Joe Frank Fr Frank or something? Hey, shh, don't give any hints. Well, I don't know. <laughs> How many miles of coastline does the Hancher have? It's a multiple choice between zero and 20, 20 and 40, 40 and 60, or 60 
or more. Question six, what is the state motto? Question seven, what US president was born in New Hampshire? Question eight, what fictional US president was born in New Hampshire? Name the actor who plays the part or the character's TV name. And number nine, it's, um, I fill in the blanks. I've got three different areas to fill in. Fill in any one and you get a point correctly. You have to be correct. And it is, uh, New Hampshire does not have a sales tax, state sales tax and, and has some of the lowest gasoline taxes in the country. Since the state controls all the blank sales, it lays a flat 30 cent per gallon of blank blank sold at state owned retail shops or 5% of the blank blank sales. And the last two go together and once the first word starts with D. So fill in any one of those with what you think it could be. I'm like, kind of like a, you want to make up funny answers or whatever, like ad libs, fine. But <laughs> if you get anything that's right, you get a point. That's from one of their uh, state websites because they're, they're known for being uh, one of the lowest tax, have, tax states in the country. I have no more. I'm cheese free. And I'm not going to ask you about the state bird because I don't think anybody really cares. State rock. But I'm going to ask you about the state drink. <laughs> what is the official beverage of New Hampshire? And I list a whole bunch of them. One of those is correct. And I do have a bonus question. And the bonus question is related to the previous question. Every one of those on the list in number 10 is a legitimate state drink in some state. But one of them I made up. Find the phony. That's a bonus question. So number 10 has got one correct answer. Number 11 has find the phony from number 10. So that's Kevin, it. So it's not a real drink or it's just not a state drink? Um, the official state beverage of New Hampshire is one of these. And yeah. then all of the above are official state beverages or soft drinks in a US state, except one. Right, but what she's asking is the phony not even a real drink and that's why it's phony or no 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 drink, it's, it's, it's not, not a state drink it's not a state drink or okay. state okay. beverage right got it but those are all real I think drinks that's what you're going for deborah those are all okay. real drinks yeah that was my okay question. cool that yeah that that's uh that's a good question because i want to know the same thing you guys know that lemonade and kool-aid and cranberry juice and milk and cider oh well, yeah some of those you made up water yeah. <laughs> it's like maybe a, moxie is not a real drink yeah what is that uh uh those are all birds real are drinks. not birds are not real <laughs> yeah water is not real yeah. those are all real drinks but birds one of them is not really an official uh i think that's hilarious hamilton could you go i have no more cheese well so, leonard gets a lot of good <laughs> pictures of those robots so you know he's, and he's so cute Look at he's he just won't leave. Look at it. You can't see him, but he's Horrible. just sitting here just staring at me. Look at look at his little head, just just staring at me. Aww. No more yeah, cheese, if, Hamilton. If, if you know how to hack the robot, you can get him to pose. Oh, okay, cool. Good job. Let me smell my hands. There's no cheese on him. There's nothing. Go back to go sleepies. Go okay, sleepies. you want to go to your rooms now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Can, can we stay here? Does that have to add somebody <laughs> anywhere? Go to New Hampshire. Ooh, bet it'd be cold there right now, though. Join. Hi, oh, Steve. Drink. Oh, I forgot. Well, I wish Kirby was here because Kirby knew all these answers. I can't talk about Susan now. Who was on? Who was on your? You lost Brian Kirby. Did you Kirby lose Daniel is, too? Is, Kirby's from Boston, so he most likely has traveled an hour north to New Hampshire. You lost Saunders, and did He's you from lose Australia. Daniel I don't think too? He has a clue. Guys, did you lose Daniel? Nobody's answering me. Hello. Did you lose Daniel? I guess we've lost. Yes, Daniel. we lost. Yeah, I don't David. know. That was Daniel. Daniel. 
Yeah, they've lost. They, we've they, lost Brian Kirby, Richard, and apparently David G. <laughs> his name is Daniel. No, nope. Let's David. get to answers. No more chit chat. No, his name is Daniel. You probably anyway, not what, what it said on his. Uh, I'm his, looking at his Wikipedia. His Wikipedia. His number one Facebook is Old Man in the Mountain. Old Man on the Mountain. Mountain. Boom. Okay. Number two, I'm almost sure it's Seth Myers. I wouldn't give him a big talk show host. Okay. And I actually know three. Oh, what is it? Well, Paul Levisque is also Hunter Hearst Helmley, otherwise known as Triple H. Yay, I've heard that name before. Four, I know, because the date is very specific. That's the okay. challenger. Ah. So I, I think ah. it's Krista McAuliffe. I think it's Krista McAuliffe. Okay. No idea about the coast. I think it's the small number. Because it's only a little bit of his touching yeah. water. Yeah. Okay. And so what is that A? It, uh, he doesn't have Except a. It, it just says zero to 20. It doesn't actually have letters on it. Oh, it's so nice to be in a room where people aren't yelling at each other. <laughs> There's not enough of us to yell at each other now. Oh. Motto is live free or die. Seven, seven, seven people in rooms a lot. Live free or die. Oh, mm -hmm. live free or die? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what president? president was born in New Hampshire? I think that's Don't Franklin know. Pierce. Really? I think so. See, I, I memorized everything about the presidents and the vice presidents. In high school, I don't remember too much specifically, but I'm going to go with that. And eight, is that supposed to be Martin Sheen's character from West Wing? I, yeah, I was, I couldn't remember Martin Sheen. I put Josh. I don't remember Bartlett. the president's I, name, but he says you can use the actor. So Martin Sheen. Okay. Martin Sheen or Josh Bartlett, either one of those will work. Okay. Nine is alcohol sales. I know they regulate. Yeah. So one of the words is alcohol. I don't have it in front of me. I don't know anything else. You guys are really great. Yeah. F official beverage of New Hampshire. What would that be? Uh, I doubt it's water. I think I think the bonus is water. <laughs> because I mean, really? Um, Nobody'd vote for that. How about uh, are, there, uh, are there are there a lot of apples in New Hampshire? Hmm. There are not a lot of oranges. Uh, no. Yeah, I would say not orange. <laughs> I I also don't think it'd be a brand like Kool Aid or Mountain Dew unless they're a company yeah. there. No, what they wouldn't. Yeah. So, so I what think are the, what are the app, what are the apple options? Because I can't see the list. Apple cider, coffee milk. That's a different milk. state. Cranberry juice. They're not really cranberry people there, right? That's more of a, yeah. a different area. Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. It's not like Kool-Aid. Lemonade. They're not lemons, are they? No. Mountain Dew. That doesn't make sense. Moxie. What's Moxie? It's another beverage, a drink that's it's a brand. brand name, right? Yeah, brand name. Okay, there's orange juice, but they're not orange people, and there's water. So well, I, I mean, people can drink orange juice or anywhere. whatever if they're not, but if they if they're known for apples. Yeah, I would think it would be something cider. that they would do there. Yeah. Like some, I don't think they, yeah, yeah, I don't think it'd be drink. I would say apple cider if they're known for apples. And bonus, I think it's water, but I don't know. Or moxie, never heard of it before. Uh, well, moxie is like that's from the time you're like. I've never seen Moxie in real life. I, I I think it's like, you know, how you remember Royal Crown Cola used to be really big. Not so much anymore. I can't see the list, but Moxie and water seem possible. Was one of them, did you say Gatorade or something like that? Lemonade. Lemonade. 
I thought Susan had said Gatorade, mm -mm. some brand name. Mountain Dew. What are the, Mountain Dew. What That's state would have Mountain Dew as their drink? Colorado. <laughs> Mountain Dew. So I think, so what do you guys want to put for bonus? Um, you know, I, I'd be more inclined to think that some state had moxie as their state drink than Mountain Dew. Was, where was Mountain Dew invented? Maybe the state that invented it likes it. But would a state really have a brand? Because that seems like a... If it was an old tiny brand, maybe. I don't know. I would think it'd be something that would be like a dairy state would have milk or something or, or a, a state that grows a lot of oranges would have orange juice. Cranberry juice would be in a state that has a lot of cranberries because it's a way of making their economy stronger. I, I yeah, I can't buy anyone making Mountain Dew a state drink. <laughs> I could buy water. I could buy Moxie because it's more of an old tiny drink. Mountain Dew is not an old tiny drink. Okay, yeah, I would go. I would go with uh, Mountain Dew. Um, Who would have Mountain water? Dew. Some place that has pristine uh, water could, or something. Someone. Maybe Maine. They're known for their water. So are we going to go with Mountain Dew? I think we're leaning. Well, it's just you and me. Yeah. And Susan. Hey, I'm, hey, thinking hey, like, hey, I'm thinking, hey, let's hey, let all the other people chime no, in. I'm like, right there are no here. other people. It's just the three of us. <laughs> I'm right here. I know I'm not in your team often, but I'm here. I showed up. My yeah, hand yeah. went up. <laughs> and we're you recording can... this. So I have. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Old Man of the Mountain. Oh, Seth Myers, man. Triple H, oh. Christy McAuliffe, Zero to Twenty, Live Free or Die, Franklin Pierce, Martin Sheen, Alcohol, and then Educated Guests of Apple Cider and Mountain Dew. That sounds good. I don't think there's anything that we know enough to change. Yep. So you guys ready for Cyclone? <laughs> I'm so dying for that. Let's you go. promised my, Icon my yardstick that's word. also a slap bracelet. Oh, look at that. You 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 promised us mini Psycon last October and that didn't happen. So yeah. I'm not I'm not trusting you. And January we were gonna go to Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, what happened with that? Omicron. I kind of want to get it now and just get it over with because we're all gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. Why won't you get it? Because I I'm waiting for the next variety. Oh. That might be the bad one, though. <laughs> you got to take what you can get. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm trying to get there. I, nothing usually happens to me, so I'm kind of hoping that this is where we're going to go. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. A lot of countries are getting rid of all the regulations right now, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I wanna I'm hoping it's a lot of infection, but very little. Um, hospitalizations Paul, yeah. uh, Paul Paul off it was like well I'm as vaccinated as I'm gonna get and you know I'm not gonna just keep sitting here at home he's gone to baseball games and stuff like that mm -hmm. it was, was it, I'm trying to remember somebody I was listening to recently said they kind of wish that they would stop reporting total cases and would only report you know moderate to severe cases or, or deaths cases that require hospitalization because when you hear the raw numbers of this many COVID infections, it, it's very, very serious, but it doesn't put into perspective what part of it is serious. You know, let As me ask you. To, this is how many hospitalizations we have. And plus there's this many people that had mild cases that didn't even, work, you know, they stayed home for three Most days. Most people aren't even reporting it, my goodness. So let me ask you a question. So right now we have 2,500 people a day dying, more or mm -hmm. less, right? Why do they keep saying Omicron is not as severe? Is it because there are so many cases that 2,500 seems like a lot? I mean, it's... It, well, my because understanding, I remember when we had 1,000 dead. My, my understanding is if you have a disease that is less deadly but much more contagious, the greater number of people that could have it, even though a smaller percentage of them die, the total number of people dying can be larger simply because so many more people are getting it. 
do we know the average age of the death now? Because I heard a high number that seemed too high, Liza, really old. I didn't understand I, what I didn't understand what he said. Can you do that, well, in Susan? Speak. In Susan, speak. Uh, with Omicron, there's a lot more people to have it to die, even if less of the a smaller percentage of the people who get Omicron die than the percentage of people who get Delta. There's more Omicron people. To bring that total number up. So that's what I said. Yeah. Is that 2,500 is a smaller percentage of people dying. Correct. It's a smaller percentage, but there's so many more Omicron cases. The that Delta. You still get a, a very depressing number of people dying. And people who are unvaccinated are. Represent the huge majority of those. Right. Because they are probably really don't care. And are going about their business just yeah. whatever. And so Omicron isn't necessarily, it, it may be less severe, severe, but it doesn't mean it's non deadly. It just means it's maybe no, less. It, it doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, less problematic. It's like, you know, what do you want? More people sick or more percentage of the people who are sick being the problem? Either way, it sucks. Either way, it's bad and serious and needs to be taken seriously. So we think that it's going to be, every, I, I'm hearing from so many people that they think that it's just a very short amount of time and we're going to be through this Omicron thing. Yeah, well, you know, barring a major mutation that makes it different enough that the vaccines aren't effective anymore, there's a good chance that Omicron may be signaling the, the ending of the pandemic simply because you're, you're running out of people who haven't been either vaccinated or infected. And we're gonna start getting five-year-olds here soon, or under five, yeah. hopefully, so. But they, they're the least likely to have a serious reaction to COVID. Yeah. Well, I know that if I had a child that's under five, I'd be freaking out all the time. Still, even even though they're less likely, I, I don't think I'm doing well. I'd really would like to have my child. Can you imagine an infant? I guess it's probably a much it's like how do they dose. test for that? Because it's it would be unethical to just grab a bunch of kids and yeah, there's people test them. So trials. how do they know they had to do trials? <laughs> yeah, not. I, I don't have a kid, but it wouldn't be my kid in a trial. Well, I guess if you're a doctor <laughs> or if you're educated, virolo you know, if you're into virology. I know they test just... in like poorer countries and I fear that's how they're getting their results. No, I think they're doing it. They have to. They were it. doing testing in different uh, uh, places. I think the FDA America. has to test in, in the United States. Hmm. Yeah, there are, to take them. there are rules about that. Yeah, so I'm sure it's just people who are saying, Go ahead, give it to my child. Wasn't there a whole village in Brazil that they one of them was testing in? Nothing I know. I gotta go look that up. Are we done? Let's see what's going on with these people over here. I think we're done. Everybody's all chatting. All, all three of us are done. <laughs> I'm glad to be included in your little, your little group here, Carl. I get to be in a group. How are you guys doing, by the way? Let's see. Oh, you're you're in the lead. Yeah. By so we're not, we don't, if anyone else comes, we don't get him because we're, we're in the lead, lead by one point, right? Yeah, Are I like we? it when it's tight. But yeah, 15, 14. Okay. Oh, who, who's our 10, enemy? 12, we have to defeat. 15, 16, 17. So the one I'm going to next is your it's no problem. Is, is that our rival? Yeah, they've had eight and they've had eight. You who's in that nine team? and you had eight. And that team is Ben, Faith, Jeff, Julie, Jordan, and Robin. So Jordan's gone to sleep now, so, or whatever. Hmm. Should we go back? To, well, nobody's back. Let me see. Let's go back because that way we'll we go back, back and that'll cause Susan to put on the pressure to the other teams. Okay, good. Please break up. Hey, I'm back with the same people. Isn't that great? Look at that. 
can cat meow is here. That's good. But yeah, I am so missing doing stuff together. You guys, it's just so depressing. Just me, huh? Oh, it's very depressing. Sure saves a lot of money, though. Don't fly anywhere. Don't pay for conventions. Don't, yeah, don't go out to eat at restaurants. Eating, I'm using it up by eating. Food, food, food. Yeah, but eating at home is cheaper than eating out at restaurants. Oh, I eat at restaurants still. Oh, you do? But I'm eating at home, and I'm eating junk. Even oh. though let's call it junk. I have kettle corn over here, and it's not even good kettle corn. I couldn't find real good kettle corn because it's too sweet. If you, the stuff I normally eat, and this is that like, is high carb. That is that is not yeah, helping yeah, yeah, in your yeah. situation. This stuff is uh, like low sweetener stuff, and I, it's just no, no, no. The the popcorn itself, even that sugar, is high carb. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. Why are people taking so long in this? I'm closing rooms. <laughs> people waiting. Oh my gosh. Where's, Kev where Ke where's Kevin right now? What is he? What room is he in? Too bad. So sad. I wonder if people are like really struggling or if there's just like one question or two that teams are banging their heads. I think they're just talking. Hey, Paula, are you, um, are you working? Sort of. I, I got, a, I worked a few days last week and a few days this week and I'm working on a project this weekend. It's a piecemeal. It's not, the studio is just like really slow right now. You're not ready to go. Do you think you're going to be going back soon? No idea. The, the studio is like, there's hardly anyone there because they don't have work yet. No. They have to get a project, get it approved, and then they can start hiring people. Of I want a real job. <laughs> I was thinking I should drive down to LA just to get away. Hang out with people, but I don't know. People aren't really hanging out over there, are they? I'll hang out. We'll hang out. <laughs> I don't have to stay in San Pedro. Yeah. It's forever away from everybody. Are we ready for some answers? Can, I we think can go to the La Brea Tar Pits or the Huntington. I would and, enjoy that. Even I love the La Brea Tar Pits. I like that fun. stuff. I like all that stuff. But I mean, I don't really want to go places and have to go everywhere with a mask on. That's the thing. You know, I want to go and just enjoy myself. Well, most of the tour of the La Brea Tar Pits, you're outside. <laughs> You can see some of the digs where they're finding the mastodons and everything. Yeah, I like I like that stuff. Go to the Death Museum. Are tar pits? And you would have to wear. You'd have to yeah, wear. It yeah, it stinks. Yeah, I love it. I like the Museum of Death. I want to go to. I want to go to um, the Museum of Jar 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 Jurassic, Jurassic Technology. Jurassic, yeah, Jurassic Technology. I've been there like seven or eight times. It's really I've cool. never been there. I hear it's great. It's what? really great, but it's very tight. So you can't. It's very, yeah, small. very, it was so funny. The first time that our group went there, there's some people very literal minded and they were pissed off about it. And then this I'm where going, they made the dinosaurs for the movies. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no that's, that's, really that's a really literal minded. Yeah, we, but it's almost definitely. like you go in there and I'm thinking, is this like a reality show and they're filming our reactions to these bizarre exhibits? That's what it felt Fake, like. Fakeish <laughs> exhibits. Okay, so I'm back. So Kevin, where are you at? You ready for some answers? What took everybody so long? Only if they're the answers that we wrote down. It was, it was so. I, cool. I have. I had Brian Kirby on my team, and he would have known all these because he he was hey, an hour Brian away. Brian Kirby and wasn't there, but I know Paula and Carl and I were there, and we kicked. That's ass. how big our team is. We kicked ass, so it doesn't matter okay. if Brian Kirby was there or not. We, okay, we number one, the answer is Old Man in the Mountain. Yeah, and that's yeah. the day that it collapsed. Yay, Leonard. Yay. We got it. Number two is Seth Myers. Yep. Yay. Oh. You, number are three, you are number correct. You are correct. I saw an interesting answer for number three, Mr. T, but it's not right. <laughs> it's not Mr. T, it's Triple <laughs> H. Ah, Chris Helmsley goes by the name Triple H. Oh, that's wow. 
So if you got Triple H, you got it right. Damn. He's married <laughs> to uh, uh, Vince McMahon's daughter. Stephanie and McMahon. Pity that fool. Number four, if you notice the date, if you notice the date, and I know a lot of people did, it's the date of the, the explosion, Calendar. and it was Krista, Krista McAuliffe. Ah, oh. yay! And number five, <laughs> Chris number five, yay for Krista. Hey, Susan, you can't yay. And number five, um, there's only eighteen point five seven miles of coastline, so yes. the first oh. answer is oh. correct. No, close. You can walk that. No, close. <laughs> number six is live free or die. I think yeah. everybody got that one. Yeah, Paula. <laughs> Number seven is Franklin Pierce. Yes. Yes. How <laughs> do you know this? Damn. Shut up, Paula. You're at New Hampshire. Somebody mentioned that. Carl knew that. Damn. Carl knew that one? Yeah. Number nine is Josiah Jed Bartlett. Yeah. From Martin Sheen from the TV oh, show. Oh, West okay. Wing. All right. Number Best president ever. <laughs> you, said, you said number nine. New Hampshire, we have in real life. I'm confused. Then the last Num one you just number said number nine. nine. What, what, uh, reads, what was number eight? What was number eight? Number eight is Josiah Jed Bartlett or Martin Sheen. Okay. From the TV show West Wing. Number nine reads: Since the sale, since the state controls all liquor sales. And then the second fill in the blank is uh, it levies a flat 30 cent tax per gallon of alcoholic beverages. And the last one, 5% domestic wine sales. So and Jamie alcohol. was 100% correct when he described it. You drive into New Hampshire and the rest areas are state liquor stores. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. And a lot of kids from Massachusetts would drive up there to get cheap booze. And if they ever stop you, there's a limit on how many gallons you can have in your trunk and you can get in big trouble for it. Oh, God. How about if you put some in the trunk and some in the back seat? Well, if they have you, the if you pass the limit, you're busted. So it's the car is a single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's you're you're, you're just there's only drink, so drink a bunch of it. That doesn't count. What about my tummy? Yeah. <laughs> right. As long as you're not drunk driving, I don't think they can catch you. Yeah, if you're number 10 seat, it's fine. is apple cider. Yay. Yes. 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 And number 11 is Mountain Dew. Yay. Oh, yeah. I was right. Right. It was right. All the other ones have a state. They all have a state, believe it or not. <laughs> which one what has is, water? What, yeah, which one has water? I'll have to look it up. I can't Jesus remember. Christ. Somebody had tomato juice as well. And he, <laughs> I'll post a link to oh, the answers. Leonard was, right. Leonard was right. <sighs> Leonard was well, right. Leonard was right. Kevin, we had we had uh, on nine. What did we have? Somebody, Kyle. Do you alcohol. know what we actually wrote in? We we had alcohol for the first word. You just had to match one, right? Yeah, yeah. liquor, alcoholic beverages, or domestic wine. Yeah, we I'll don't say want Indiana is water. If we yeah, put, I just looked up the Wikipedia article. Indiana, Indiana is water. Sounds boring. If, oh. Nebraska that's not, is well, Canada. hell, if you have if if you had Pence as your senator, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have water as your state beverage. Nebraska, yeah, no, you need something really strong, plain, plain and tasteless. They exactly. didn't taunt their neighbor to the north. Cool I have a question on, on Michigan. the exactness of the words. Instead of liquor, we had alcohol. I think I'll give it to you because it means the same thing. Okay. I think most people got that anyway. Okay. Yeah. Unless you said rubbing. <laughs> what, rubbing liquor. Water, I had rubbing liquor. The <laughs> Why does the national drink of Switzerland? Because they're neutral, right? <laughs> well they do have a lot of alpine rivers so they have a well lot coffee milk is the is the drink of rhode island oh, we remember that, that. Yeah. and cranberry juice is massachusetts kool-aid oh. is nebraska yeah. <laughs> apparently really? the person yeah the person moxie is actually a real thing it's jane, like it's like an yeah. old-fashioned soda knew that. jane is from <laughs> nebraska and she knew uh, that King's uh, nebraska. Uh, and the state yeah. you in the telephone pole. The, the Kool Aid was invented in Nebraska. Tasty. Ah. And that's why it's their water. Moxie is an old fashioned beverage. It's like a cross between root beer and 
sarsaparilla I've never coke or something. It's, it's, it tastes I have. awful. Hey, check out his joint. I've never seen it. It still exists. So <laughs> Mike Wolf has just enjoy has just joined us. Hi, Mike. Let's see where we're gonna put him. He'll be doing trivia next week all by himself. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Uh, Love it. So, a brave all right, man. let's do our scores. We're just finishing round three, Mike. So you you get to. Uh, I can't really stay. I'm I'm in my office at work. Actually, I'd stop by to say hello. See how. Oh. Hi, Mike. Oh. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Adios. <laughs> Hi, Mike. See you next week. Hi, Mike. Bye, Mike. <laughs> Here's the scores. So let's start off with um, we can count the chickens because they've hatched. Mike's here long enough to see what the oh, are. Oh, nine. They're on for a, How many? On for a few minutes. Nine. Nine. I don't, nine. In the I, don't, I don't think we got nine. Yeah, yeah we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, we, we did. did. One, two, four, yeah, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Which other one? Eleven. The only one we the okay. only one we missed was the bonus and number three. Um, did we get the president? I, I wrote Harrison. Yes, we did get the president. We did get the president. We got Pierce. Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. So how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Seven. <gasps> Ooh. And you're tied. You got a tie for first. Stop that <laughs> gown. Stop that gown. <laughs> All right. So now that's what I call trivia. <laughs> I counted six. Yeah. Six. Yep. Yes. You no yeah, longer have a tie lead. for first. Okay. So it's no problem. Also six. Okay. Mm. The team that I was on, there was only three yeah. of us. Wait, what? What? You got seven? Which... I think we, I thought we had seven. Let me see. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's six. Yeah. I also have six out of 10. So didn't of... we get the bonus, the Mountain Dew? No, no, because you guys told me to put in Kool Aid. Oh, I, I, th Dew, I thought I, I, thought I had been overruled. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. six>. okay. <laughs> so, so someone Susan... please stop Robin from herself. <laughs> Susan's <laughs> waiting for the other balls to drop. And oh. what? Yeah. And I just wanted you to know that was a team I was on. So there was no first <laughs> in that one. No curse at all. Who was the girl And there's was only the two other people team. on the team. So I heard that team cheat. Paula and myself. <laughs> and Susan was on our team also. <laughs> what would be a what would be a credible score to report for this Three. round? Okay. <laughs> no, I think we can go with nine. I'm gonna share okay. my screen real quick. Okay. This is a sign at the base of Old Man of the Mountain. I always thought that was pretty cool, <laughs> even though I'm not a big God guy. <laughs> Are you a little God guy? <laughs> no, I used to. I used He's to a be medium a medium God, God guy. Believe it, a very tiny, tiny God. I, keep I took pictures pocket. of my kids in front of this when they were babies. I wish I could find it. <laughs> I thought Alanis Morissette was God. Oh, wait, <laughs> well, that, are the two yeah. are the two Janes are the two Janes from the same place? Wait, what? <laughs> Jane. Well, that's that's what Carl Sagan said. He wondered why everyone God was so small. Oh. Are the two Janes from the same town? No, I'm from Omaha. Jane, where are you from? Gothenburg. Ah, Nebraskans. Are wow. they close to each other? No, <laughs> no. Uh, they're both on Earth. We have a Jane Feldman and a Jane Felton, and they're both from Nebraska. Relatively oh, speaking, oh, but they're both close. in Nebraska. <laughs> oh, now close. that's just too weird. That's very, very close. My wife's close. in the next room. Her name's Jane. The next person who joins is going to be somebody named Jane from Nebraska. Jane, Jane is the state lady's name of Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're born That's in Nebraska. Good. I bet your name is Jane. Hey, Kevin, did you include uh, the the Frank the Pierce question on purpose? We had that before in a presidential category. I think we did. Yeah. 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 Makes it even harder. You guys better. You get can't right remember. Here. It's it stinks when you can't remember. Oh, I can. I can. People say kept saying coffee last... milk and, 
and cranberry juice. And I was like, oh, you remember the state? Well, that's why, I guess that's why, Paula, you or whoever it was in our team that came up with it. They're like, I don't know why. I think it's Pierce. Nope. Franklin <laughs> Pierce was. Thinking, was uh, and I was thinking it was 1800s, state presidents from the 1800s. Yep. He was a terrible president, though I suppose part of that could be explained by the fact that on the train ride to his inauguration, the train crashed and his wife and son were killed. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, that's, he that's, saw his kid get killed. Yeah, get that's no, no yep. good. Uh, oh, jeez. So Thanks he's given permission to be a crappy president. Well, you know, we're talking a lot about dead people, but at least they're all already dead. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> wait, no, well, we're not wait gonna bring people we back to life, Mr. are we? we president Trump's still alive. Has anyone checked lately? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. So, you know, on um on the TV show Mash, Alan Alda's character is called Benjamin Franklin Pierce, and he's from New That's England it. somewhere. I think Crab Apple maybe. Cove, Maine. Oh yeah. Maine. Maine. So it's I knew it was New England, you know. Uh, yeah, and, and Bernie yeah. is not from New Hampshire. I heard two different teams mention Bernie. Bernie's from, Peg Vermont. Peg from New Hampshire. As long as Peggy's a, a thing at the end of involved living Bernie's people, in New York. We're all safe. Bernie Sanders is in Vermont right now, though. Hey, hey stop talking about Bernie Sanders. Sanders. What is wrong with you people? Yes. Oh, oh. Time to travel. Go back in time. Below. Reverse oh. time. So I have a question. <laughs> when it comes to the people we mention who, uh, mentioning people who are already dead, what would the rule be in the event that they were raised from the dead via necromancy? Yeah. <laughs> I believe or, the or, correct uh, response is whoa. <laughs> or, or, uh, if that happened and then they on. immediately were killed, we know it was because we met. There it's we go. Q and on. They're going to well, what, what, Jesus, that would be a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robin's up. Oh boy. I unmute myself. Okay. Everybody loves know. Zombie Jesus Day. I'm going to have to talk about it. I'm president. going to mute people just a sec. Just oh, a let, let Robin take category. category. Oh, okay. Okay. We must, we My, must so, cheer or groan. So, some people may know that we live, some of us in this room live in the Monterey Peninsula area, and we have a big, big annual golf tournament going on right now. Oh, no. The, the AT&T. Oh, and it's, oh, it's very big. It's very big. So we're doing sports ball tonight? So I, I'm not normally a sports person. Left-handed golfers? My, Mini golf champions. My category is called the AT&T. Oh. Okay. Just, yeah, okay. It's not yeah. just sports, Robin, but you're doing fucking golf. I'm doing fucking <laughs> golf. Great. It's not sports effort. ball. It's sports little tidy ball. It's oh, man. Fucking <laughs> golf. I'm impressed. It's Micro ball. Little tiny ball. Thank you. That okay. was way too so funny. Fucking oh. engineer. Right, right. oh, the, the little guy okay, probably mutus, uses, mutus. uses the uh, golf ball as a dodgeball. All right. So Wait, gonna... let Vincent mute us. I'm not going to stop him. myself okay uh so the first question is what celebrity founded the at&t funk uh, let me go back to my source here wait do you mean the company or the golf tournament a person this is all this is all the tournament. This right? is only the Have tournament, it? not not AT and T, the phone company. Yeah, you keep calling Correct. it a this, name. So What's the, the, the there's name? A, currently a golf tournament going on in Monterey. It's in Pebble Beach. It's every year. It's been every year since that's the next question. When did it start? Um, and it's um, it's it's our it's one of our big influxes Ross. of tourists every year it's big it's on tv blah 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 when, when you say for the first question you found it the, you mean the golf tournament not at&t the company right correct the who, category who is started, called the at&t not yeah at&t when it was started it was not called the at&t because when it was started the company called at&t did not exist well at&t is just the sponsor that's loaned them the name yes 
AT&T has been in it since some year. Uh, but, but there was a famous celebrity who, who founded this thing that evolved into this thing that we now call the AT&T. Got it. And Hamilton, you got it too, don't you? He's here. Okay, so plus or minus 10 yeah. years, what, what was the year, what was the founding year? And by founding year, I mean, it actually started in Southern California and was moved up here after a few years. So I'm looking for the original founding year. Got it. All right. <clears throat> Plus or minus how much? 10. Plus or minus 10, yeah. That's, that's generous. Be generous. All right, next question. Two famous golfers have won it five times. Name one of those two famous golfers. I'm I'm sorry, Susan. I have to bow out. My I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Oh, and it is golf. I know. I I do apologize. Okay, um, no problem, Vincent. Yeah, see you there's... tonight. Okay, good night. Thanks sorry, everyone. Good to see you. Tonight. You could just do what I usually do and just doze off at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> or what Kevin does and he starts snoring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Good, night, yeah good, good night Vincent. Vincent. good night bye bye good everybody night. okay and in what year did AT&T sign on to begin sponsorship of this no plus or minus famous uh no no plus no. or minus on that one no plus or minus no plus or minus <laughs> hey you two do not growl at each other there is enough room you had six inches all right uh um, hey. Next one. Sorry, I'm cutting and pasting from my email. I'm waiting for a cat bite here in a minute. <laughs> Look at these two. True or false? Sam? Tiger Woods is playing on um, in the uh, the golfer side this year. They're growling at each other. Well, he, Tiger Woods could play the celebrity side or the golfer side. It's so so, so it's a thing where they pair up. They pair up of uh, professional golfers with celebrities. Anyway, true or false, Tiger Woods is on the docket this year. Uh, uh, you, you, wait, hang on a second. In the, in the regular tournament? At AT&T. Either no. one of them. Either no. one of them. Tiger, Tiger Woods is present at the event this year. Is he in not? Monterey County or not? No, is he <laughs> present or is he playing? And is well, it the pro am or is it the? Uh, sometimes they have a pro am before the actual tournaments. So you talking yeah, it's, about is the he actual playing? Tournament? And I I don't care who he's playing with or for or whatever. Is he playing? Is but is he... it the regular tournament? The the regular pro tournament, not yeah. the pro am. Okay. Um. Well, either but, one. Either one. There's. There's a there's, they're they're kind of combined a little bit. You know, there's there's a there's a. A uh, professional side of it where there's no celebrities, and then there's the pro am part of it where there are the celebrities. Okay. And All right. either way, is 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 Tiger Woods playing? So it's a big deal, and there's a lot of it takes a lot of volunteers to um, put it on. How many volunteers are working? And I, it's it's kind of a round number. It's an approximate number. I tried to look up how many spectators are expected this year, and you can't even get that number. They don't know. Um, they probably do it by aerial phot photography or something. But anyway, there's a there's a round number of an, a, a guess, an approximation of how many volunteers it takes to put it on. There's a lot of them, and so just uh, a plus or minus five hundred. That's tight. Six. All Plus right. or minus 500? Plus or minus 500. Wow. All right. Oops. 
Okay, next one is the regular tickets cost between 70 and $80. It's $70 for Thursday and Friday, and it's $80 for Saturday and Sunday. But you could get some other types of tickets, VIP tickets. One of them is called Palmer's Club 18, presented by Citrix. Palmer's Club 18 is the most coveted movie ticket in golf. I mean, co coveted ticket in golf offering a single day general admission and access to a climate controlled venue with outdoor stadium seating and upgraded restrooms along the 18th fairway in Pebble Beach. Daily breakfast and lunch will be served along with afternoon hors d'oeuvres and decadent desserts. A premium spirits bar with signature cocktails and boutique Napa Valley wines will be featured daily. Guests will enjoy live music and premier on-site parking. How much does that ticket cost? Plus or minus 200 bucks. Is that with or without a coupon code uh, for us? COVID. Yeah, coupon code. Can you get a group on? <laughs> How much? A, Plus or minus can you, 200. Can you get an Arnold Palmer? I'm uh, sure you can. I'm is that sure like the can. whole tournament or is that per day or? Per day. Per day, okay. Per day. I think it's per day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's per day. Okay. <laughs> Number eight, how much money, <coughs> let's say plus or minus $500,000. Oh. How much money does the winner get of the AT&T? Oh, the winner. The winner. There's a prize. 500,000? Plus or minus 500,000. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no way, 500,000? Plus or minus 500,000, how much does the winner get? What? Fucking golf. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I should have had my kids TV in this contracts. sport. Is it too late to have Caspian <laughs> play it's golf? A sporting event. <laughs> I'm going to give him a stick. Here, go out and play golf. Uh, and number nine is which of the following celebrities is not playing in the tournament this year? Oh God. And Why didn't I pay attention? <laughs> I know they Usually, Herald just came out with a special there's edition certain people on golf. who are like recurring celebrities who are always yeah. there. Mark and says, Do you want the golfing section? I'm like, no. So which of the following is not playing? Three of them are there, one of them is not there. Plus or minus. <laughs> <laughs> Plus or minus one. You two stop it. And the last one, I don't know if you guys noticed that I accidentally put something in the chat earlier. No. I couldn't, I was trying to test it to see if I could open it or whatever, but it didn't work. Um, this is totally subjective. It's, act, it's not totally subjective, it's objective, but it's a, totally a guess for you guys. How many private jets are currently parked on the tarmac at the Monterey airport? <laughs> I counted them about three hours ago. Oh, your sister and was. Sister's I have a number, <laughs> and so my number is my number. I'll give you guys plus or minus five on that. There are several. <laughs> oh my goodness! And, oh, and I had some random question. I had some pictures. <laughs> I have some pictures. Uh, maybe I'll put them on my Facebook page if you want to look at oh, them later. Funny. I got to anyway, see. I saw a, you cruising around in your sister's people. plane. That is a so lot cool. Of, Whose sister's playing? Yours. My sister? Didn't you go cruising around with your sister? Oh, my That's sister good. has a plane. So <clears throat> Yeah, but we, you guys went up and down the coast. Yes, we did. We went down to Big Sur last weekend. Well, was that as far as you went? Yeah, we just went down. We went as far as um, the Big Sur River mouth. We turned around about there. It was great. The, the picture yeah. you posted was really cool. I like that. Amazing yeah, photos. Really you two get along. I'm serious. There's Okay, so let's see. Now I have to put you guys seven? in your rooms. Seven is uh, how much is the ticket? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars plus or minus. Then plus or minus two hundred. Yeah. Okay, send us to our rooms. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, the bottom breakout room. Breakout Open rooms. Break. Ten, two, Open two. all rooms. There you go. And I will be going to four. And I will Hello, leave here. Hello, team. For... Hello. Hello. <laughs> no problem. 
Can I start in my own room? I'll start in here. So just you let you know, here. I live in Monterey County. And, and you don't I know actually, shit. I know some of these answers and I can't. Oh, good. Off. Of course, good. yeah. Hey, we need the points because our last <laughs> round was abysmal. Okay, so go to the top. Let's see. So it's Bob Hope. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, what year did it start? I don't know, but it would have been after the World War II. So 50, I don't know. What do we want to say? Get 10 years. Let's go with 50. Yeah. Uh, three, I don't know any golfers. Hey. Ar uh, Arnold Palmer is one of them. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Okay, the AT&T began sponsoring in probably... Did we get a plus or minus on that one? Yeah. How By the way, 19... Not for the AT&T one. Mm -hmm. Not for the, when did they begin sponsoring? Right. My, guess, my guess for number three is just a guess, but Arnold Palmer is actually a golfer. Yeah, he also no. won a lot of tournaments. Yeah. A yeah. lot of things. So are number four, point. what year did the at and Okay, it's going to be in the 80s. Because it was such a big deal here whenever it became it, they got rid of the Bob Hope. Like, we call it the Hope, Bob Hope. We called it the Bob Hope. Um, so what do we call it? Let me think. We didn't call it Bob Hope. We called it I don't know, whatever it was, we all had to stop calling it that. So it was probably in the 80s. Like 83, maybe, when they did like the ATT long distance call stuff. It probably is right around there. Okay. Number five, Tiger Woods is not here. How many volunteers? Lord, 500 is the plus or minus. It's it's a lot. How many golfers generally do they have? Oh, 100 or so. Let's see. There's celebrities and there's all kinds of stuff and there's all people, kinds of people parking. I went to the, I went to the at and about four years ago, Paulina, um, there's so many organizations around here, volunteers, so they get tickets. And so she took me, I was totally bored, but um, I don't like golf. Um, but there's so many volunteers. There's probably like 5, upwards of 2,000. No. Okay. Uh, well, think about it though. It's over some, so many days. So maybe more, maybe four. 3,000? Because some people are going to volunteer one day, but not the next. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. I have no well, idea. I mean, that seems like enough. Hmm? Is 3,000 enough, we think, or do we need to go higher? It could be 3,000. I, I don't, yeah. I have let's no come back a good and, number. Yeah, let's come back and revisit. We got it. a 500 thing. So, number seven, no clue. A lot. <laughs> Let's make a what what we call at work a swag, which is a scientific wild ass guess. Okay. A thousand bucks. Yeah, thousand seems. I'm going to say it's more than that. It's probably more than that, but no idea. Maybe I, I no the only time I went, I got went for free. But boy, let me tell you, if you get to mingle with the celebrities, I'm sure it's a lot. Um, Do you get to? What mingle with the mingle celebrity? With well, the celebrity. when I went, you you they're right there. They're like there. Hmm. You know, you're they have a little rope and you're standing there in a crowd. And you're like, oh my god, there's Tiger Woods or whatever. I don't think I don't think Tiger Woods is there. And you go to different holes and you, it's just really like, oh god, it's pretty. Okay, eight, no clue. Number nine, even without knowing who the people are, I know it's Bill Murray. He's, he's a mainstay here. He's the hilarious. He interacts with everybody. He's, he's a clown. And I think I did hear. Are you, so you're saying Bill Murray's not there this year? Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he's noticeably not present. Right. Okay. So, so that's why yeah, Peyton that. Manning is there. Like he decided to quit. Uh, I don't know. Peyton Manning. I remember Peyton what, he goes every year. But isn't Peyton the one that just retired? No, I, I don't know. He's been going for many years. This is a thinking of Tom Brady. 
Oh yeah, they're basically just about the same in my book. <laughs> and then how many private jack jets are currently parked on the tarmac? I mean, it's fifty. I, I I really don't know. It's not a huge airport. It's a it's a smallish airport. It's about fifteen minutes from where I live. And and Robin plays. Um, do you want to say Do you want to say forty five then? Because that'll give us between forty and fifty. Because she said plus or minus five. She was able to count it, so it couldn't have been hundreds, probably. Yeah. Okay, those are my guesses, and I hope I no, help. I think that those seem reasonable. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Eight. So a lot of golf tournaments, the prize winner gets on the order of, for professional golf tournaments, on the order of between, like, usually... 2 million to 5 million, depending on the You're tournament. Kidding. Some of them go up higher than that. It's a professional tournament and there's a singular winner. So, yeah. you know, like imagine how much we pay NFL players to play. And then imagine yeah. that it's one person. One person gets this amount of money. I don't even so, know. That I'm thinking, but yeah. Mind you, they do have a big prize. Let's go pool. with 5 million. Yeah. I think, and I'm, I think 5 million seems. And I think the Arnold Palmer ticket is more than a thousand dollars. Yeah, I, I agree. What, 1500? $2,400? Go to $2,400 because you're talking yeah. like for Ramiro's had Ironman events where we have, they give you concierge where they take you around and give you food. And those tickets for just a day of them doing that is like four to $700. And people pay for that shit. Wait, what is that? <laughs> so an Ironman race, Ramiro's done oh, like yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. At, like yeah, you can sorry. get VIP, yeah. and it's yeah, like sure. anywhere between four to seven hundred dollars, and like you can put the race medal around your athlete. Yeah, and head. that and Ironmans aren't full of celebrities. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, so no, twenty four hundred is a is enough, or is it going to be closer to like five thousand dollars per? This ticket? is per day. Per day, so oh, like per day. Okay, yeah, then so that, I that think, probably sounds yeah. good. It's not for like, like the whole event. You're gonna pay us a hundred dollars an hour to do whatever kind of thing. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm trying to, you know, whenever they more than a hundred dollars an hour. Yeah, when we had the tournament. Yeah. We yeah. used to always call it the, by the name, and it it was Bob Hope was in the name. I swear, and and I thought I'll never get used to calling it anything else, and now I can't think of what it was called. The Bob Hope. Like I'm surprised that it got so ingrained that, that everybody just calls it the AT and T. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's been it's yeah a huge. Money I'm torn. I'm I'm not. I Fundraisers, all sorts of stuff here. To things are kind of lame. Giving give them meaningful names, but everything's got to have some company name plastered on it. And you never like change. I'm I'm fine if it has both. You know the and AT and T. Pebble Beach Grand Am or whatever it is, like whatever they want to call it. You know, that's fine. I hope that's what its official name is, because if they really did give a golf tournament the name literally the AT&T. That just sounds so like snooty. Like they better never out. do that to the tour. Yeah, that would <laughs> But every team is referred to by the co the company. People are calling up them. that golf tournament for tech support yeah. all the time. I mean, is AT and T still around and doing yeah. business? Like, I have I don't know. I I think we did okay. Hold on, hold on. Susan, Maybe. you have a phone in your house that's mounted to your wall. No, no. Okay. No. <laughs> It'd be a novelty if we did. <laughs> no, I thought you meant. Do we have still have AT and T? Uh, yeah we do with like cell service because i think my work phone is through at my, my, my uh internet now uh at and i finally went oh that's it. right uh, we also have at and we've got you first oh <laughs> gosh but you don't See, have don't the at and i don't i we don't have the at how's everybody doing robin <laughs> that would cost a fortune apparently we there would we we would love to have the Google, i think everybody's but... pretty close to being done okay so if you want to leave the room and call us back okay uh, let me just go. Yeah, I'm going to check one more room before I do it. We're lucky enough here in Seattle. We got fiber. It's good. I want fiber. Fiber, but we have it'll, fiber. It'll eventually come to our area, but I found out my oh, yeah. co my you're, you're in 
rally, right? We're in rally, yeah. Yeah, so I can imagine that's going to fix itself. Hopefully, it, it, It's going to eventually, like, our house has appreciated so much money since we bought it. How big yeah. is your house? Uh, it's just over 2,000 square feet. Oh, Lord, that's massive. And it's just the two of you guys there? It's just the two of us, yeah. It's two I stories. It's about the same. Yeah, we have a two-car garage that we can You've park been in. have been to my house, Susan. It's about the same. I know, but your house is yeah. 2,000 square feet? Well, it's so... Three, ours, ours is close to 2200 we've got four bedrooms yeah and ours, ours two is and a half bath almost 200 or mm -hmm. almost 2000 it's like yeah. 1900 but you don't yeah. have parking you can fit four cars in our driveway oh and yeah, there's I a lake can, out the back. i can fit i can fit four just uh, one two Three, you cannot four, fit a Tesla five, though inside our garage. Six, it is not long six enough. Six or seven on our driveway side. But no, Jeff and Julie's uh, driveways, they don't have a uh, parking. No, like we have, we do have a one car garage, but we can't fit our car in it. You, you have to put the mirrors in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, wow. Yeah, I hate those super skinny garage. Like, why even have one if you're going to make it that small? Well, it's for your motorcycle. Super yeah, storage. it's it's for our bike and for storage and like, Honestly, once our bathroom is fully done, like fully repaired, then the garage will be empty enough. We can put the car back in if we want. But Faith, I'll come out and see you guys if you've got a four. Well, if we don't go on the cruise, we were thinking about doing a uh, Pacific Coast Highway trip. Ooh. So, hey, we'd love to, to visit. Yeah. Mm. Everybody's invited to Faith and Romero's house. Woohoo! Yeah. This oh, category, right. we should do oh, the whole lumber school. party. Or all at once, all at once, we're What's party at party, party yeah. I don't know. The, they're, they're just going to keep working. We're just going to have a party. No, we're going to start remodeling our kitchen so nobody can come over. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get it done. This is the first tree around in a long time. That we, we were invited to a party. <laughs> well, how about you guys? Why this is the first trivia round in a long time that I'm not I didn't invite at everyone. Least one point. <laughs> I just, I told I invited you everybody. She yeah. told me that you got a huge, massive house. It's like double the size of my house. No, no it's not huge. Like we have 2,000 square feet is a lot. Nah, no, most it's of not. The house I lived in most of my life was 1,020 square feet. Yeah, yeah my house. Whether is whether you include the basement or not. But we don't, we could put a basement in. We have that big of a crawl space. But uh, where, no, where do you live, Faith? In Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, that's so, true. You don't. Have, you by the way, want to build the crawl space is for the body. The body. See, <laughs> how, how would you make a crawl space into a basement area? When did uh, when did Ben that grow that? Means it's less than the height. When did you, Ben Ben you, grow you, that mohawk? Ben's wearing a mohawk. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but how do you know there aren't bodies already there, and we're going to like mm. seal it and oh, it so nobody right. can find anything? Pour the cement. Mm. He does have a mohawk. I was wondering Jimmy about that. We have a lake out back that they've got to drain soon, so I hope options, they don't find options. stuff. Options. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're being recorded, so if yeah, yeah, you might want to watch it. There gonna, might be a body be a suspect. <laughs> okay, Robin. Good category. <laughs> I'm shocked. I am shocked I was helpful. Oh, <laughs> I definitely say. helped having people from the area on our team on this one. Um, Who's on your team, okay. Deborah? What's that? You ready? Were you on that team? Can this yeah. be golf scoring Aaron. so the lowest one gets 10? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely like not. Like like it, yeah. We might have a hole in one, right? Mm. Oh, Jane's on your team. We, what, is, what is par on this category? <laughs> Three. <laughs> wow. Maybe. Okay. Number one. What celebrity? It's Bing Crosby. Oh my uh, God. Yeah, I said Bob Hope. Point. Sorry. Oh Bing God. Crosby, Bob Hope. You know, there's that one place. Oh, and you I know what? We used to call it the Crosby. The Crosby. Yeah. It, used to, it used to be when I moved here. It was I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry. Come on, Susan. The Crosby Susan. clam bake. <laughs> the Crosby clam bake. I am so, so sorry. So I suggested because of the other question, uh, Arnold Palmer. We didn't go for him. I'm glad. But how come? Palmer room is called that. Because he's good. <laughs> I can't. I knew. I. I thought. Was that after what? Arnold Palmer? I called it the Crosby. Well, maybe they have a lot of tents named after various uh, famous golfers. Rob, yeah, he might have sponsored it. Uh, Big Crosby started it in um, 
uh, it was in Rancho Santa Fe down in Southern California. So that's where it started. And Arnold Palmer supplies the iced tea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and lemonade. Uh, and the tractor. It's my drink of choice. Arnold Palmer. Number two. The answer is 1937. What did I say? Oh, plus wow. or minus three. Oh, that's oh, that Sorry, you guys. Plus or minus you, you plus or minus one? Plus or minus? I think I said plus or minus 10 on that one. I think yeah. you said plus or minus. I never listened to Carl, did we get that one? 24, you said? We got it. We got Excellent. it, Kevin. We got it. Mm. Yeah. Did, oh. I say, did I say plus or minus? I think I said plus or minus 10. You said 10. You said 10. You said okay. 10. Doesn't help us, but. Yeah, Number three us. is what two famous golfers have That's won it funny. 10 times. I mean, five, sorry, five times. Three. And that is these two peoples right here. Oh, oh we got that. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Omira. Yeah, I should have a Nicholson. That's the one I really, huh? Nicholson. Oh, I don't know either of those guys. <laughs> well, I have Nicholson. Nicholson. <laughs> Nicholson or something. I think I've heard that. Nicholson's recent. Yeah. And oh, number four, oh. I think I heard uh, Karen. Let's get it. Hit it spot on 1986. Yeah. Uh, 1985. <laughs> <laughs> no plus or minus no i, I, I think to, no i didn't give oh, you a plus or minus no one. you didn't oh, no. you bitch <laughs> 87. Wow. everybody that's her boss that just told her <laughs> <that much. laughs> she told me that at work too this this is is <laughs> that's awesome number five we, uh, tiger yeah. woods is nowhere near this place i have no idea where he is yeah. um, rehab Oops, sorry, I didn't say that loud, did I? Oh, snap. <laughs> Number six. Hey, we got a point. <laughs> How many volunteers? And what did I say? Plus or minus like 500? 500. 500. Okay, plus or minus 500. It's It takes 2,000 volunteers to run. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. Oh, oh, sorry, team. Oh. 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 Karen was one of those very handy points point for getting it exact. For that. <laughs> I am one Number of them. seven. Bye. Karen. It costs a thousand dollars to get one of them tickets. Hey, Karen. Oh, wow. the plus or minus. No, Jane, you said a thousand and then change your mind. Yeah, okay. I said uh, plus or minus uh, two hundred. So anywhere from eight hundred to twelve hundred. Oh, oh, wow. You know, I, uh, inspired. I wrote down twelve hundred. I thought we had good. a solid eight on this category. <laughs> 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 we have a solid two. Susan, <laughs> well, we did get a solid, solid eight one. wrong. Uh, we're going to have, so number eight is 8.7 million. Whoa. Oh, my yes. God. Oh, no way. No plus way. or minus 7 million? Wait. <laughs> the purse. 8.7 <laughs> uh, is how much the, purse. the winner gets, or is the, that the total winning? No, the winner gets 8.7 million. Oh, my. No I way. do not believe that God, is the case. that can't be. Yes, it can be. a little purse. <laughs> Look it uh, up. That's the total purse. The total purse is shared, though. Oh, yeah, the total, the total purse, purse is shared? split. You get a certain amount if you get above a, a, a certain ranking. I'm going to figure it out. Move on. Uh, and get okay, uh, according to now. the we'll, we'll according to the Maybe according to the morning out. read for the 2022 AT&T Pebble um, Pro Am, the uh, total purse is 8.7 million. The winner gets one point five six six million. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. See. All right. Oh free, free point for everybody on that one. Free no, point. No. No. Oh, no. Right. 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 That's right. If you got it right, you get the point. Yes. Okay, and I said plus or minus five hundred thousand, so it was one point what? One point five six six. One point five six six plus or minus five hundred. And we said one point five. We plus or minus one to two million. So we got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn. There's a good guessing going on today. <laughs> All right. The, the celebrity who's not there is Peyton Manning. He's been there. Uh, oh, Bill no, Murray's not oh. here. I yes, thought it was Bill Murray. Uh, Bill Murray is there. Bill, Bill Murray is playing this year. Bill Murray is there. Oh, Peyton, man. Peyton, because Peyton is probably doing, he's probably doing the Pro Bowl. He, he's probably he's doing the Pro Bowl He's promoting his new gig. Bill yeah. Murray. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. And number 10, the answer that no one could Google. <laughs> yes. Is 45. 
<gasps> there are 45 private jets. What are we saying? Oh, exactly right. So do we get like? We said 30. We got it exactly right. Wow. Exactly right. I apologize to my team. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. Plus or minus 10. You, you said plus or minus don't five. Plus or minus five. Sorry, Peggy. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't know I the should have gone with you, Peggy. <laughs> was there a plus or minus on that one? Five. Yeah, plus or minus five, I think I said. Oh, okay. I think, I think, Alan, we're okay because we said 50. Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're you're oh, in it. I don't know why you're I thought was, I said more. Okay. Great. I'm and so I, I was trying to post some pictures because I have some pictures that I took this afternoon. <laughs> They probably won't show up on here. You get bonus wow. points if we gave the complete and answer to, to number oh, seven, yeah. Robin. Huh? Do you get bonus points if you gave the complete <laughs> answer to number seven? No. No. Uh, yeah, the bonus the is answer? zero. The pro the pr the actual price is a thousand dollars in the blood of a hundred orphans. Those. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. There's the planes. <laughs> Did you see? Can you see yeah. the planes? I can't yeah, open I can it. See them. Okay, so that's one. Let me let me let me post another one because I have like a couple pictures here. Uh, that's our airport. So as I told my team, uh, I went oh, wow. to see the eclipse in Casper, Wyoming, in 2017, and about two hours after totality, we were driving by the airport, and there was a line of like 40 private planes getting ready to take off. Oh wow! Cool. So three pictures. People of... just just flew in and flew out. Yeah. People who have that kind Good of for the economy. Somebody should plan these eclipses better. Mm -hmm. Where are these pictures? Oh, they're they're planned long in advance. Mm -hmm. So these planes are all sitting on the uh, tarmac at the Monterey Airport. Can you Where share the, the picture? Can you yeah. share the picture? Well, I put three of them on. I don't know if you can open them. Yeah. I can open them. Can't share the Where screen. Where did you put them? I've the got in here. Let me show you this. In the chat. Calm <coughs> down. In chat. Here we Maybe. go. She's better. You see my chat frozen. Oh, it's, it's like a it's like a parking lot that looks like that. Okay. <laughs> and that is not what our airport normally looks like, but they're just parking all over the place. And here's the other. And, one. Half those planes probably belong to the golfers. Probably. Yeah, probably but, the celebrity golfer people. Yeah. They fly no. in, play a round of golf, and fly home. Most mm -hmm. of these, like you, you, if you look at the tail number, you can often find out if you Google the tail number on an airplane, you can often find out who owns it. So like mm -hmm. my sister owns a plane. You, if you Google the tail number on her plane, you, it, her name comes up. Yeah. Public information. Cool. Yeah. And I did get the tail number on a couple of them, but <clears throat> anyway, not important. We guessed surprisingly well on this round. Yeah. That was a departure. Thank so you. So were they were those guesses or were those um rectally inspired? Directly <laughs> <laughs> <Rectally> inspired. <laughs> Curses. You want I'm so up. embarrassed. Okay. All, all I know is for, for your own team, Robin, uh golf is the new lighthouse. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Sorry, team. Only because I was on the team. I should know better. All right, so. We can count the chickens because they've hatched. Eight. So, six. No, what? What? No, eight. We, got, we got eight. We had eight. Oh, eight. eight. I can't hear her sometimes. Eight. If both, if two people are trying to say the number at the same time. I thought somebody said six. I don't know. Maybe I heard that. So, yeah. one person should say on the number. Susan said six. Well, because I was repeating somebody. So, how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Whoa, five, and I live here. That's bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, now that's what I call trivia. 92. Three. I had four. I thought we had two, so. Yeah, it's like we really had embarrassing. one. I not only live here, we I live my whole life. We had five and we had six. And that's four. One, five, and six. <laughs> One, four, five, and six. Okay. So we, no, had... we were all wrong on four. We had 88. Yeah, we almost, well, you said 86 and we changed oh, it. Oh, I wrote yeah. down 86. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It's no problem. Two. Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is for the other balls to draw. 
amazed that we got six. Oh. Even though we had one answer, we were kind of hopeful with right. Oh my God, we have a three way tie for last place. Wow. <laughs> and we go to bonus. We just pay. Wow. Peggy's, anyway, gonna, Peggy's gonna make it fix fix the fix the whole thing for all of us. Isn't Peggy's it? gonna fix it all? It's a pretty close no. game. The bonus <laughs> category is what is the current score at the Pebble Beach Pro Am? <laughs> <laughs> mono rules. Mono rules. <laughs> yeah, mono rules. With um, plus or minus so seventy two. The, the category <laughs> is China shares land borders with fourteen countries. You get to name ten. Oh, you, you do oh. not count the special administrative regions, and that is Hong Kong and Macau. You get a bonus point if you can name the country that shares the longest border. And Peggy, you get a bonus point for no mono rules. Yeah, <laughs> I thought about it, really. Yeah. I was tempted, as you can tell, but. Oh. I thought that you know no there's no. not a, there's not quite frankly enough of the and possible I, answers to do yeah. mono rules because then we have like two points or three points or whatever. I had um, thought about a similar question for how many states border or New, New Hampshire, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll eventually be swallowed up. Your <laughs> Chinese New Year question. Oh, that's great. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, we got a variety. Of we sure have a variety, don't we? That's great. Okay. All right. I'm going to open the room, guys. Here we go. Very sure. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay, team. Jamie. Here you go. Hi, team. Hello, this team. This is your neighborhood. All right, Jamie. Go for oh, it. it is. Okay, let's see. Um, Burma. Who's right here now? Would you have Pakistan? Oh. Pakistan? Are, I don't they, think Pakistan. are they on the wrong side? It's wrong side. Mongolia? Uh, uh, is, it Bangladesh? Someone is Bangladesh? Where's Bangladesh? I'm not is writing them the... down, so I don't know who is. Is someone writing them down? Can someone write them down? So do you have a pen or pencil or anything? Can you get a... Can you get a... Uh, uh, Russia? Yes, Russia, India, um, Mongolia. Burma. Laos, is Mongolia an uh, independent country? Is it considered independent country? Yes, yeah. Mongolia, definitely. It's an independent country. And you, did you say Burma? It's not Burma, Burma. anymore. What is it? Is it is Myanmar? It Burma? Myanmar, yeah. Mi Myanmar. I don't know if Thailand, we're trying to think. I, think, I don't know oh, if Thailand. Uh, uh, Vietnam? Yes, Vietnam. Uh, Karen, I need some paper. Korea. Oh, wait, so nobody's writing these down? I'm writing them down. Oh, I gotta go put Robin in a room for a second. Where is Robin? How, we want 10, right? Wait, how many do we want? 10 out of the 14 or something? Yep. Oh, is someone writing them down? I'm writing them down. I have five. Oh, shit. Vietnam, Thailand, Russia, Mongolia, and Burma, which is also called Myanmar. Yep. You said India? Oh, India. I don't know if Thailand. I'm trying to think of Thailand borders. That's where you're at. I wrote I Thailand know. down. That's not bordering. No. Yes. It's the Yunnan province. It just that um, Myanmar and Laos come all at one point up north. Uh, well, I was wondering, what about, how about North like, Korea? North Korea. Yes. A, a Cam Definitely. Cam is Cambodia? Um, no, Cambodia is too far south. Okay. Um, South, think, Korea doesn't, I, South Korea doesn't hit, right? No. That's no. You said Thailand, so Russia, Thailand, India. Hong Kong? Sure. Hong Kong? No, How again, that's Kaz a territory that's, uh, that we can't use that, I don't think. How about um, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan? No, they're... Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Um, Uzbekistan? Oh, uh, Nepal? Nepal. Oh, sure, Nepal. Oh. Nepal? Yeah. Yeah, because it borders Tibet, which is part of China. Tibet well, no, hang on. Is Tibet, is Tibet no, not like uh, Mongolia? Is, is, is it not? Is it a region or is it a country? Mongolia is a country. And no, but it's Tibet. No, Tibet is part of China. 
Tibet is Chinese. That's why the Chinese took them over. Yeah, but that's why I thought Mongolia as well. No, Mongolia is a separate country. All right. That's eight I've got listed. Um, let's see. Go down. I want to would, the, would the country it, with the longest border be uh, Mongolia? I no, would probably. be India. Would it be India, maybe? Or Russia. Ooh. Russia has a huge border. Yeah, I would think right, Russia. But don't uh, remember for it. The team I just gave the other team two points. And then I was I was little. Uh, Jane, do you have Russia down there as one of the? I countries? do have Russia. Yeah. I have Nepal, North Korea, India, Vietnam, Thailand, Russia, Mongolia, and Burma, which is also called Myanmar. Yep. Laos. Did Should you we Laos? add Laos? I don't have Laos down. Should I add Laos? You said Laos. it comes in a point. You know what, Jamie? Look out your window. Look out your window. You might be able to see. <laughs> <laughs> um, Laos, we, for sure. You take a vote on it. Laos, okay. You said Vietnam? Yes. So if oh, no. Laos is there, does Cambodia there too? No, is Cambodia's it? far south. Okay. He is going um, outside. <laughs> no, my I'm running out of juice. I have to charge my computer. Um, um, I got nine. Is it Nepal? Oh, so none of the Stans, Kazakhstan or Uzbekistan, no? Oh, that's, that's a good point. Um, let's see. I'm thinking Uzbekistan is farther to the east. <coughs> Right. Let's see. That's what's up there. How, far, how far over is Afghanistan? Uh, that's farther west, I think. Central Asia makes sense. Um, like Tajikistan. Well, what's the one that's northeast? Um, Tajikistan. That's a country. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't Tajikistan. know what that one is at all. But it's all around that it's the same area: Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Sure. Uh, has a, but there's got to be a Central Asian. There's got to be. Oh, um, they find the Uyghurs. Where are the Uyghurs? Right now, they're fighting. The Chinese are fighting the Uyghur people. Oh, where? Oh, where, shit. Is, that? where, where is that? So, no, isn't that Myanmar? So isn't part. that Myanmar? Isn't that? No, that's, no. Right. that's not Myanmar. It's, it's Central Asia, one of the Central Asian countries. Um, uh, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan. Let's see. I'm trying to think of the map. Um, something says Tajikistan. You said Tajikistan. I'm what still thinking think? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. It could be Uzbekistan. Yeah, it could be Uzbekistan. It's one of those. Oh. It's one of those. Which Pakistan country also? has Mount Everest in it? Nepal. That's Nepal. Nepal. They definitely bought yeah, we, we, have, we, um, we have Nepal. Did we? Did we? Did we uh, get? Did we have in Nepal? There? Is one of them. Okay. Yes. Tibet's in there. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no Tibet, Tibet is, is a part of China. It's been part, part of China. China since what? Seventies, eighties. Oh, you said that's right. That's what you said. Yeah. We 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 flew. We 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 actually flew to Everest. We could only go half the way because we flew into Tibet territory, and they uh, wouldn't allow us. So we had to turn <laughs> around. It's kind of weird. Um, it's one of the stands. So you, you mentioned Pakistan. I wonder if Pakistan does borders. Pakistan's cut into two parts, you know. Where did the two parts go? Well, it used to be two parts. The other part now is, um, is Bangladesh. Bangladesh. It, used east, it used to be East and West Pakistan. East Pakistan became Bangladesh. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> well, then would it be likely that, and Bangladesh does not border China? Well, actually, does Bangladesh border? It borders Myanmar. Bangladesh, Bangladesh has a lot of ocean front. Wouldn't that put it too far? Well, it's, 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 it's yeah, too Bangladesh far is the southwest side. So uh, it borders India and Burma. Well, could we could we put it down if we're short? If we put it down as an extra in case we're short of names? I I'd okay. rather put one of the stands down than Bangladesh. Yeah. As a as a tenth guess. Oh, we've got nine already. We've got nine. Okay. Um, what do you say, Tajikistan? Like one of those stands, Uzbekistan. 
who, where are the Uyghurs from? I think the Uyghurs are probably in several countries. Let's see, I'm trying to look the map. Because it's kind of like, I mean, Uzbekistan is it was kind of like Southwest. Is it really? Hmm. I don't know. I was, listening, I was listening on NPR today and they were talking, they started naming a couple of these countries. I had never ever heard the name in my life uh, out there. There's so many of them. Well, it's there's five. Of, there's five more countries we're not getting. Probably four of them I've never. Yeah, heard. so you might have named you might have named them, and we're trying to pick one, and they might all be right. I know. Um, Kazakhstan. That's that's a Russian territory. Just but grab one. Say, yeah, Let's how about see. Uzbekistan? You can say Uzbekistan. Which one do you want, Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan? <laughs> Take a vote. Whatever you choose is fine. What do you think? I thought Tajikistan, but um, or Turkmenistan. Say Uzbekistan. What the hell? Say Uzbekistan. Well, I will say Uzbekistan. Okay. But I think, I, I, I think it's. I just hope it's not far south. It's southwest. And it's which so is the far. longest border? We said Russia, say, maybe. Russia. Russia. Okay. That's for the uh, extra point. Okay, super. So, what other places? It's more obvious. I know we're missing some. Does Pakistan border China? India sure does, but they're having a yeah. battle between. Yeah. All right. Well, we're out of here anyway now. So. Okay. <laughs> I think we. All right. We did okay. I think we did okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. And yeah. she actually taught there from basically from when she graduated until she retired. And she's like 85. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. All right. I think we're all back. That was great. That was fun. I'm glad Jamie, Jamie did it. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. All right, you guys, you ready? Yep. I think oh. you guys did great from what I saw. That's not good. Here's the Afghanistan. list. Afghanistan. Afghanistan, Bhutan, India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, <laughs> Laos, Mongolia, Myanmar, Nepal, North Korea, Pakistan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Vietnam. Um, yeah. And the bonus question is uh, Mongolia. All right. Oh, oh. Wait, not wait. even close. Don't, don't take it away. Don't, don't take it away. Oh. Well, I'd already up. taken it away when you begged me not to, so I'm going to put it back up. Please. I guess that makes sense. It like completely subsumes Mongolia. Right. Yeah, yeah, in hindsight. Mm -hmm. It said on <laughs> 2020. The cat. <laughs> Is it in the um, chat? No. Where, where's the list? Oh, um, okay. I could put it in the chat. Well, that would be we helpful. just need to be able to see the list. Yeah, put, put, it, yeah. put it in the it chat. It went by too fast. Here it is. <clears throat> okay. And then I have it blocked. Um, you okay? Because I want to show you a map too, just in case it helps. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> the motto rule did anybody get Laos? Yeah, we wrote yeah. it down. Oh, it got there. <laughs> damn it, we lost the point. There, the there, aren't, there. there aren't enough choices for mono rules to. I know, have. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, mono rules, you guys would have ended up with like two, one. No, it's not everybody would have gotten that. That would have been really cool. Nobody would have gotten it. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing just so I can show you the map. I feel like Tajikistan would be the only potential. That's the only one we didn't mention. All right. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. What's the blue? Is that rivers? Yes. Yeah. Russia doesn't have very much border. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it had that it, much it, border with Kazakhstan. Oh, wow. it's got a, yeah. Russia's got a bunch of border. Oh, it's on, on the, the other side. Yeah. It's on the, the north. northeast. Yeah. 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 You're right. Oh, and Afghanistan has some kind of little peninsula that runs over there or something. Yeah, that yeah. looks like oh, some. Look at how close it oh, there's is. a lot more border with North Korea than I realized. Treaty border. Wow. And a lot with Pakistan. That's really surprising. Oh, mm -hmm. we said Bangladesh, which was wrong. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, Nepal, Bhutan. Jeez, I thought Russia touched it a lot more than that. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, so. Mongolia is in the way. Yeah, yeah I was forgetting yeah. about yeah. Mongolia. Stupid Mongolia, always getting in the way. Yeah, yeah I, stu <laughs> I stupidly said that uh, the longest border was with Russia. <laughs> and what we corrected you I to Mongolia. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for Mon if it wasn't for Mongolia being in the way, it would be. Mm -hmm. And Putin would agree with you because he probably claims Mongolia. <laughs> he probably thinks it's his. <laughs> so Afghanistan. Or, or he'd just say little... he'd just say the Mongolians are just like the Chinese, so the that border counts. <laughs> right. Uh, Either yeah. way, we have the biggest borders. <laughs> we have the best borders, the biggest borders. They're huge borders. They're great. More borders. of them. Huge. 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 Kazakhstan huge. is just huge. <clears throat> that was huge. very interesting. Borat is famous though. Are we ready to go for scores? Okay. I didn't catch the last one on your list. Can we Vietnam? go back again? Yeah, no. Vietnam. Vietnam was the last one on our list? Yeah. Yep. Because they're alphabetical. Then I did catch them all. Thank you. So Afghanistan would just have a little sliver in that area. That was very interesting. Right. So these are like Pokemon and you have to catch them all? <laughs> At least you went 10. Nice. Okay. Kazakhstan sounds like a Pokemon to me. Yeah. All right. So let's see how it went. We've got a three way tie for second place. Third. 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 Third place. Yeah. For the second oh. not winning place. <laughs> let's go with now. That's what I call trivia. Ken. Ooh. Wow. Who's the, who's Yay. The, Nice winner, work. winner, winner so far. <laughs> it's no problem. Nine. Yay! <laughs> James is all excited. <laughs> you don't get out much, James, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> How much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? Eight. Come on, James. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Job, game. Game's over. <laughs> and we can count the chickens because they've hatched. Eleven. No. Wowie, zowie. And oh, Susan's nine. waiting for the other balls to drop. Ballas. Ten. Ten. Four. Look at that. Wow. Oh, oh, nice nice work, wow. geography. Wizzes. Yeah, you guess. Hmm. That was a high scoring score bonus. You get is 50, so that's damn good. They only missed seven questions the whole game. Wow. And the goal. Okay. Yeah, I was on the team whenever it hit 10. Just let you know. <laughs> I, this you is were. Me. You were definitely on the I'm team. I'm sorry, you were that's also. Worth, that's worth mentioning because it's so wrong. And you were, you were also on our team when it got two, so you're above high and low. I and I know you know what it bothered me too because I came up with Bob Hope right away and then I said I remember we used to call it something all the time we called it the last name and I know we didn't call it the Hope tournament so it was Bob you know, Hope is nagging you know, me in the back of my mind you realize that the quicker you come up with the answer the more likely it is that it's wrong no I think it's the opposite <laughs> I think you usually come up with your best guess so when you think about it that's the problem Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so next week, next week, we have a special game. And I already have a hint of what's going to happen. So you don't want to miss next week. And that is Mike Wolf is going to be in charge of the whole game. Yay. So stuff in Mike Wolf's room and in his car <laughs> and in his office. Hey, remember that one? That his one medicine cabinet. He yeah, so really, really clever one. He, he, where... Yeah, he came up with clever. clever yeah, yeah. There you know. I, I sincerely am looking forward to it. Yeah. So, but, I like he has good stuff. So yeah. the uh, the week after that, which is the seventeenth of February, I have Janine, and that's the only thing I have. Oh, well, He's I doing have, all night. I have some ready, Excellent. Susan. I have several ready. I don't have too much money for the Carl, Rob, Janine. Do I hear anything else? Always ready, Susan. So you just tell me. Gail, and I need a bonus. I'll do the bonus. Okay. 
How many planes? <laughs> Today, how many planes are How many pla oh, I just oh, counted oh. them. No, no, okay. ball, please, might, happen. might happen. Might happen. Did you go over there today just to count them today? You said yes, I did. I, I drove by the airport. I'm here to count door. the planes. I guess I I drive by the airport anyway on my way home. From the work. FBI will be knocking on her door tonight. If any of them oh, will I try just because they have any engines. Huh? Susan, can you, can you show the scores again? How many total yeah, sure. engines were on the tarmac? Yeah, how many total? But what are um, the tail numbers of the planes on the tarmac? Yeah, I've got a few of them. Because <laughs> it's it's interesting. So let me see. Okay, if you she's not Google, stalking them for sure. I'm not stalking any celebrities. This reminds me of people that that post on Twitter trains and buses that they seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've got one N507DS. I'm going to look it up. N507DS. She really did? <laughs> it's Bill Murray. Let's see. Let's see. I swear he wasn't here. Oh, we know it's not Peyton. It's not I'm Peyton really Manning. bummed. I am really bummed. I should look at that stupid Most golf. of those planes are owned by corporations that are probably, then leased probably, out. Yeah, yeah. Probably. yeah. And I, I think a lot of them, you know, even celebrities who don't own their own planes probably they charter them, you know. What yeah. are you going to think yeah. if it's, you get you get one that's and a Russian one? 507 here. So oh, I should mention uh, Monterey County Skeptics next Wednesday at Gianni's. Oh, yeah. next My cousin day? used to fly a plane out of that area and go to um, Reno, I think, back and forth, chartered, yeah. and then he crashed one day and four uh -oh. people died. Oh. It was awful. Oh, oh, well, thanks for mm. lightening the mood. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, about that. wow. We're talking about COVID deaths next. and it's Just like your presentation started with it. No, this was years and years ago, but still sad. My, my presentation started negative? With the, with the plane crash, with the day the music died, remember? Oh, <laughs> oh that wasn't my presentation. That was Paul Fidago. So make sure you check that out if you didn't see it. I made up most of what I was talking about today. So I'm looking <laughs> okay, so forward to the listening. The one I Googled was just some random corporation, KAG Services, LLC. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, Putin. So good, good night, everybody. Good night, Gail. Yeah, so, thank you, Gail. Thank you all for being here with us. Thank you so much. It was a big crowd today. And so thank you, Susan. A good game. That was fun. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a good game. Good that was pretty yeah. competitive. 43. Dang. Seven wrong. is right. That's one of the best we've had. I don't think we've had one that good. Wait, wait is Karen still here? Karen, I got a text from Karen. I didn't reply. Yeah, 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 I came back. I uh, for some reason my computer logged. I couldn't come back to the room for the breakout. Ah. So I had to go. I had to log in again. Oh, huh. so we were in second place, six points behind. Not bad. Well, we were in second place. Last. Fun, fun, fun game, you guys. All right, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna upload this and put it onto the interwebs so you guys can rewatch this because it's so exciting uh, there's only a few I, I, new England i'm states so excited so i just can't hide it <laughs> 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 <laughs>